This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to Your Mom's House. Today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Go to betterhelp.com slash YMH to get started today. Uh, Christina and I both huge fans of counseling therapy, if you will. Um, we both have been doing it for years. I, to can't, our, I can't imagine a life without therapy. Uh, to me at this point now, I feel like one of the the greatest feelings in my week is that, I don't know, that moment when you are just done with a session yeah. and you walk out and you either feel like, wow, I got this off my chest. I yeah. feel maybe validated about something or somebody connects the dots. Oh you yeah. Know, or not somebody, your therapist helps you connect the dots in something. Absolutely. And you just feel like this breakthrough kind of feeling. It's so it's life is so short and so many people suffer with anxiety and depression and talk therapy is one of the best ways to resolve anxiety and depression. Yeah, it really is. And it's, it's important to remember these are licensed therapists available worldwide. You can do this via text, chat, mm. phone, or video. And this is something that's available on your desktop, mobile, Android, or iOS. Um, it's it's really uh, an easy thing to get started with. And you have a lot of flexibility uh, to you can change you can figure out who you match with and you can talk to somebody within 24 hours It's a big deal. You can get you which can get, is different than your normal therapist. Sometimes you have to wait an entire week Yeah, this is something that um, again, we're We're more than happy to talk about because we we actually live this we do this um, I'm going this week on Thursday. Oh, good for you. I, I move it around even if I can't, you know, if it's I can't a priority make it, is yeah. what you're saying. I have a set day, but yes. if I can't make it happen that day, I make sure to reach out. And, um, it is like, a I don't know, it, it, to me, it feels almost like a, a cleanse in a way. Absolutely. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm a huge, huge fan of this. Um, there's a uh, financial aid available, but it is a, a quite, um, affordable. This is professional real licensed therapists there are many ways with which you can get in touch with them you can do this like we said over text chat video or phone um please go to betterhelp.com slash y m h let him know we sent you there you go all right all right all right let's do it gene oh Oh, I got to put on my other mom glasses for this. Are we doing? Oh, we're good. Go ahead, Jean. I, uh, I'm pleased to announce my Denver shows are sold out. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. So we've added a late show uh, Saturday. It just went for, it went on sale today. So get those tickets now, right now, right now, right now, right now, because they will move fast. Go to Christina P online for those ticket links. And I don't even know what I, I'm just so excited no, I know. to be you got, in Denver. You're doing the, um, like what, is it a midnight show? I'm doing a midnight show on Saturday. At the uh, uh, Comedy Works downtown. The Comedy Works downtown club, which is such a wonderful venue. Yep. And it's I'm, the best, man. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see all you guys there. And the Ride or Die Tour keeps on rolling. February 23rd, I go to West Salem Springs, Oklahoma at the Cherokee Casino. Uh, February 28th through March 2nd, Madison, Wisconsin, the Come On Your Comedy Club on State. April 4th through 6th, Minneapolis Tits. Many sodas at the Acme Comedy Club, May 10th and 11th, Tempe, Arizona, the Tempe Improv, May 31st through June 1st. I'm here, right here, right here in Sperm Bank, California at Flippers Comedy Club. And then June 20th through 22nd, Washington Dick Come at the Dick Come Improv. All ticket links at Christina P. Online. I will see you there, Jeans. 
All right. And Eugene? Mm. Um, this is, by the way, Obi-Wan. Killing is it? it? Yeah, Gosh, killing I it, man. I feel like we haven't heard from him in a minute. I'm so killing happy. Killing it. Um, let's see. I'm in Long Beach at okay. the Terrace Theater. Okay, local. February 7th. There's 100 tickets left, so okay. it might be singles. The next day, Chumash in Santa Inez, same deal. And then uh, the next day, Reno, February 9th, same deal. So there's scattered tickets. Um, and then the following week, I am in Montclair, New Jersey. That's sold out. Pittsburgh on Valentine's Day. The early show is sold out. The late show has a few tickets remaining. Same deal with the, the next day, the 15th in Cincinnati. Uh, sold out the, the early show. Late show has a few tickets left. Cleveland the next day, same deal. And Washington, D.C. the next day at the Warner Theater, same deal. Early show sold out. Last show has about 100 tickets. Um, here's what we just added. I uh, actually added it last week and didn't forgot to mention it. We added a late show, or excuse me, yes, a late show in Medford. So the Boston area, the oh. Chevalier Theater. Chevalier. April 28th. Get those tickets. The late show has been added. It is tomscura.com slash tour. There's also a bunch of other shows. I feel like people don't even, people keep hitting me up, asking me about like, why don't you come to like, Richmond, Virginia, or mm. Kansas City, mm. Indianapolis. Those are all on sale. They're just in May and June. So go to uh, tomsgirl.com slash tour. And then... Uh, slash what? Tour. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can pull that volume back up. Thanks, brother. Elementary um, school? Uh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> Who the fuck talks like that? I know. Um, <laughs> on tour ah shit I don't even know if I have that here anymore your tour bus uh, tour party I'm ready man I got, um, I got a, we got a lot to talk about oh my god there's Tom so much Seguera. to go over today we got great guests today it's gonna be a lot of fun today don't we forget we do have really fun guests we have two people that we haven't had in your mom's house in, in a minute in a hot minute yeah and they are going to both be here it's going to be like a throwback uh -huh. it's going to be a celebration um why don't we go you ready to start I'm the show i'm fucking ready bro let's 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 get the let's show started party, let's Dean. go this nigga didn't brought a dead raccoon in the motherfucking mcdonald's <laughs> look at this shit <laughs> That motherfucker dead in the motherfucker. This nigga got rabies like a motherfucker. Uh. This shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom, Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. say i'm a little jealous look at this shit <laughs> i'm a little jealous that a guy can the guy with the dead raccoon can go into a mcdonald's but we can't i, I don't even want to don't get me started oh my god i almost forgot morton's steakhouse the best steak anywhere what i was gonna say was um so mcdonald's Wet or dry aged beef oh they got it all i mean what's your favorite one though i i I believe wet is the yeah the way to go. We were gonna discuss the difference. Yeah. What do you, what's the difference? Well, let's, let's get into that later. But I I wanted to talk about and by the way, there's over 80 locations of Morton's. Look them up. Yeah. So they. I'm gonna go to the one in Denver. I think. As you should. Yeah. Sounds like a great pre-show or post-show meal. Well, that's the neat part about Morton's being our maybe sponsor. meet everybody there. Right. Well, I'm saying that Morton sponsors and we're we are promised discounted meals at any location across the United States. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, come on, that's a perk, babe. You don't want to start bragging about this. That's true. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, the McDonald's thing is it's a bummer. Um, right. We've had to return. Uh, I returned a couple of handbags. 
I got my deposit back on the car. Yeah. I uh, I also canceled an order on jewelry. Yeah. And that for, um, for you or for me? No, it was for me. What were you gonna get? It was that chain with the medallion. Yeah. Tommy Bond's number one. Yeah. Well, the good thing about jewelry is that the resale value is pretty high. Well, I realized, but you know, I also, I mean, through therapy, actually, I've discussed that and learned that, you know, that sometimes it's okay to just want something and I can afford it and get it. I could afford it, I should say. Yeah. And just get it. Just treat yourself. Yeah. Well, lesson learned, though. Lesson, you can't treat yourself too much. Lesson learned. You don't have $2 million. I don't have $2 million, but um, I gave it back. But you know what? Life's still good. It's right. uh, it's not like there's no other source of income, you, you know? Like sure. We have obviously great sponsors that we love on the show. Um, we've been touring. Touring? Um, touring. And to- our- tour- touring. Yeah. Um, this past weekend was fucking crazy. I know. I mean, I cannot tell you what that was like. It was like shooting a special every night. I saw your pictures on Instagram. It was Nuts. bananas. I got to tell you, like... Thank you to everybody that came out in um, Oklahoma City, San Antonio, um, where were they? Um, uh, Houston Atlanta, and Dallas. Right. Yeah. Houston and... And the Full Charge kicked off every show. Awesome. He killed it. Um, so I just I just wanted to say thank you. It was it was really... Right. And I saw uh, you you went with a tour bus. So you yep. did your tour bus this yep. time. And mm-hmm. I, I noticed that Bert was kind of showing off about his oh tour bus God. well i wouldn't call his a bus i know it it's more, more like, like a like, minivan yeah it's like an rv kind of thing yeah it's really sad too yeah like he his bus sure has one bathroom really yeah one one well how many did yours have well two obviously i'm not gonna pee with the peasants in the front sure. of the bus <laughs> right. so i have my own i have yeah. my own separate shower you know, I have a bidet. I have my own chocolate fountain set up in the back. Satellite, Wi-Fi, surround sound. Sure. Like it's a whole different thing. And then like he painted his name on his. It's so. Can you think? <clears throat> I think this might a be a worse idea. Right. The fundamental difference in personalities between. I love Bert. First of all, he's like a brother to me. Eh. Right. But. I think the fundamental difference, like if I could sum it up between you and Bert, is that Bert will wrap his tour bus in a photograph of him mm-hmm. shirtless. Yeah. And yours is like I camouflaged. Would ra- rather die. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like I, and I, honestly, I'm kind of, I side with you on this thing. Like I can't think of a worst thing to do on I the think road. He even realized it within <laughs> right. a week. He right. was like, this was a bad idea. When like scores of people at, like when you're trying to sleep at night and when it's they like, would the be machine. like, oh, there's a vehicle. And then they're like, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. There's a guy's name and face all over that yeah. thing. Yeah. And then Drug they're like, people. can we come in? <laughs> he's like, yeah, sure. Yeah. No, he's. That's uh, crazy. But anyways, if you want to, I don't know, make him feel bad. Post. <laughs> um, that we know that your bus is fake. We saw yeah. that you have an RV and not a bus. Uh, Tom's the tour bus champ. Clearly. Um, your, bu- your bus looks broke. Yeah. You know, just like, I mean, if you want, I don't know. You don't. Have to. <laughs> anyway. Um, We're not going to tell you how to act. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, maybe just, I don't know, just sh- shit on his whole now, thing. Now, let me ask you. Because I was very curious about your bus life. How did you manage number twos on the bus? Well, there's a strict pretty much rule. I mean, I talked to actually Brian Regan about this. He owns a badass tour bus. He's also been touring like this for like 15 years. And because the rule, the general rule on buses is no browning. Right. You just you, you can yellow. You can yellow all you want, but you don't brown unless we're talking <laughs> a real level fucking 10 emergency. Right. <laughs> So, now, why is that, though? Because what happens is the way that the technology, like, obviously, it's a toilet. So you're like, why can't I brown there? Yeah. Well, the way that these are set up is that, like, the brown smells will get into, like, the vents. <laughs> oh. And, like, you'll just smell shit. It'll be terrible. Until really? they dump it. Yeah. So Because it's probably in a tank that, right, it is sit, in a yeah, tank. And it sits under right the there. bus cooking. And if it's And if you took a hot one, it's, like, it's, yeah. it's not going to be good. The r- little known road rules fact, too, we did not, we weren't allowed to brown on the Winnie. So you have this thing where you yeah. go, 
like straight up, I would tell anybody on the bus, I'm like, don't shit on here. <laughs> also, don't feel embarrassed to say you have to shit. <laughs> and then, then the drivers are totally like, the, driver. the drivers know. And they're, and I go like, I have a no brown policy. And they're like, most people do. <laughs> and and That's I go, a great talk to have with a oh, stranger. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I go, but if anyone's got a shit, he's like, I'll stop whenever you want. So like, like when I told him, I don't want anyone to shit. He goes, it would be best. <laughs> He's like, I've done a lot of these. Yeah, I've done a lot of drunk tours. rockers and oh, stuff. Yeah. But I imagine like drunk rock stars shit and diarrhea. Probably. That's a probably lot. why they know how bad yeah. it is. So. <laughs> and barf everywhere. But I asked Regan, I go, dude, you have, you own this epic tour bus. Yeah. Can you, I mean, doesn't that kind of suck with the shitting rule? He was like, well, <laughs> I got like the new shit. Ooh. Like I got, I, so apparently the state, like if you get a tour bus built now, Okay. And you make it state of the art. There is technology now where he's like, ah, oh, there's like coffee <laughs> grinds and a whole system where you don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, I see. So, yeah, but yeah, I see. Like when you build, when you custom your yeah, new thing. You can get that other level. You know what would be really great? What? Is if you could build a plumbing system that when you flush, it just shoots the poo out of the exhaust pipe. Yeah, yeah. As the bus goes. I think there would be uh, some really upset uh, motorists maybe <laughs> but you could do it when there's like a bicycle tour like you know those jerks oh, right. that ride their bikes just let all your diarrhea out of the back <laughs> of the bus like find those groups of bicyclists yeah. and then diarrhea and then just brown keep going down the yeah. freeway and they're like i don't know it was a bus and a bunch of <laughs> shit came out of the back and this guy's bert named bert was his face was on it <laughs> yeah you have to put bert's face on that yeah. bus though yeah that would that'd be cool <sighs> speaking of brown mm -hmm. you know last night I, I was we were getting ready we we're winding down for our evening mm -hmm. and then you disappeared into the bathroom and i was like are you going to make brown now and you're like no no i'm just gonna go read and then of course i i put it together that you were browning because i yeah. heard the sounds and i i started to smell the smells through the door no you didn't and then um it was so interesting because you came out and you were like all right are we gonna make marital loves now like mm -hmm. and that's fine i'm just saying it was interesting because there was no lag time there was no refract re refractory period mm -hmm. is that between your browning and then your need to ejaculate yeah and usually like i would be like i'm gonna brown i'm gonna take cool off let the let let things settle and yeah. then go sexual mm -hmm. but not you you went straight into it well the thing was mm -hmm. that brown interrupted my sexual <laughs> <laughs> desires so i went upstairs right. like i'm ready for sex oh okay. and then it was like hey but we kind of need to make a pit stop <laughs> okay. and then i went back that's i'm seriously blown away because yeah. i didn't realize well thanks for putting out that that was cool <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's so funny about you what is um you were way more affectionate and I oh, knew it. No, it. I knew it. Cause I was like, gosh, she's like, we were watching Sesame street with the kid and you were petting my head. And I was like, this guy wants nookie. I know it. Cause normally you're not that affectionate. Sesame street turns me on. <laughs> I, I wasn't, I wasn't me suggesting like, that. Me want to come. No. <laughs> that is so nasty. Cookie don't laugh at that. Come. Blue band. Don't you encourage that. That is so nasty. Yeah. That is so nasty. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, I notice you're nicer to me when you want you want to ejaculate. Um, that's not true. I also feel like um, so true. By the way, good job last night. <sighs> now, good job. Yeah. You are so gross. So you were nice that last night though. I was you nice. Didn't fart the whole time. I know. And you didn't ask me to congratulate you about not farting the whole time. That was cool. It's a big a deal. It is. A, oh, and I also, you brushed your teeth, which I know is. A, and used mouthwash. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool, too. T tell me a guy out there that would do that before they <laughs> sleep with most girls. Most girls? Yeah. Is that really? You wouldn't do that for just road beef? Mm -mm. Road beef gets a rubber. They yeah. get no lube. <laughs> and you don't brush your teeth. Um, no, 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 no. I'm like, no, you're getting lucky, you know? Yeah. To the. That's their, they're just, yeah, lucky to have you. Yeah, that gutter dog that came in. And... Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, these sluts that buy the rub rub shirts. Oh, yeah. Those ah, are the those dirtiest are... girls. Yeah. 
They're great. Don't get me wrong. I love them. Oh, God. Don't put it out there like you're hooking up. I'm not it's hooking so up. so nasty. I'm not hooking up. Ugh. I'm letting dirty, <laughs> dirty girls. All right. Okay. So. God. <laughs> Married, guys. 10 years. Kind of. So. Um, you're so a nasty. A lot of people. So just before, before it went down. Which uh, went down? Before uh, McDonald's uh, took their money back. Oh, yeah. They, um, one of our great, the greatest prank caller ever, as far as I'm concerned, Fart Simpson. Hands down. DJ Skull Vomit uh, <laughs> sent in a prank call uh. that he had done to McDonald's because he had heard the, the news that it's our sponsor oh this my before. Gosh. And then he sent this and then like, I felt bad last week, so I didn't play it. But now I'm like, eh, now it's in the past. Right. Anyways, it's pretty funny. You want well, to hear it? Well, I'm over it now, too, and now yeah. it's time to make fun of them. Yeah. You want to hear the call? Sure. He called up a burger place, <laughs> uh, and then it, it's me as the caller. Okay. Oh, my God. Here we go. Hey, I know this sounds crazy. How do you feel about working with McDonald's? <laughs> McDonald's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would I want to work with them? Get, like, free McDonald's all the time. Uh-huh. Try it out. It would have. Many, many french fries. <laughs> you said many, many french fries. <laughs> yeah. Cheeseburgers. I like the burgers. What do you mean? The burgers are good. Yeah. It's so good. It's delicious. <laughs> I want some, I want, I want a McFlurry. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's your name? Burnt Chrysler. Dude, now I feel like it's going to be a regular part of my diet. <laughs> you said a diet. You want a diet. Yeah. <laughs> Try to get on a diet. Oh, you want help? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where where are you calling from? Where you at? Where you calling from? You know McDonald's. You call from McDonald's? Yeah, I got a red truck. You do? The answer is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Just let McDonald's have a little fucking stay. Would you like to order something? Burgers, <laughs> filet of fish, chicken nuggets, many, many french fries. What would you like to order? <laughs> there it is. Uh, I like that you just start laughing at her. Yeah, she liked You're me. Like, she did. She, she was like, what's me. your name? Yeah. She, you almost got in there with her. Yeah. But then, and then she was like, because you, you just kept laughing. Yeah. And she was over you. No, that, that was somebody else. You. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. She handed the phone to her friend. Yeah, were, she was like, this hot guy okay. once kept me keeps messing with me. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah, that was great. You're like, <laughs> I got a red truck. I got a red <laughs> I know. And I'm like, huh. <laughs> she was like, okay. <laughs> that was great. Uh, Thank you, Fart Simpson. That was hardcore fun. Uh, you can He's, go to fartsimpson.bandcamp.com. Uh, check out all his prank calls. It's really fantastic. He sounded R-worded in that call. I'm... Sorry, I got a you red truck. Not say that. <laughs> you use the R word. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, I didn't say it though. Speaking of McDonald's, the uh, <laughs> McDaniel's is what Cardi B calls. It. McDaniel's. <laughs> McDaniel's on her Instagram. This fucking guy. It's really crazy. This what, guy. Gene? He has a dead raccoon. Yeah. Inside of McDonald's. <sighs> But some people eat raccoons in parts of this country, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's a good excuse. <laughs> to bring a dead one in? Maybe he and just... put it on the table in a maybe restaurant? Maybe he just trapped one and nah. he took it in. He had a quick nah, bite. No, this guy's... The guy commentating... <laughs> this nigga done brought a dead raccoon in the motherfucking McDonald's. He's right. <laughs> he, he's the sensible one. The guy uh, dictating this is, is the one who is actually... Look at this shit! <laughs> That motherfucker dead in the motherfucker. This nigga got rabies like a motherfucker. This is crazy. This motherfucker crazy. They ain't gonna bring it in there where the food at. He's right. Nigga, you so motherfucking <laughs> stupid. Look at this shit. This motherfucker put the raccoon on the table. Uh -oh. he yeah, why isn't everybody reacting that way? Like, this guy's out of his mind. Okay, I finally see this lady here. Look at her hand. She's pointing, right? Wait. The lady. Behind? Look at her. She's yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, Isn't she yeah. going like this? Yeah, she's like. She's telling him, you got to get the fuck out of here with that. Yeah, dude. Look, this motherfucker got him on the table, bro. Yeah. And he getting up leaving now. Yeah, okay. Look at this shit. Oh, no, no. Look, he leaving now. Wow, this 
this motherfucker bring a dead ass raccoon into McDonald's. This nigga crazy, boy. I tell you. Only in San Francisco. Oh, San nigga Francisco. Oh my God. I never would have suspected. I would never in a million but years. But I would let the guy narrating this open for me. I know. I, this shit's hilarious. He's pretty funny. But here's the thing. Here's the deal, man. I mean, there's a lot of homeless people in San Francisco. And they're all funny? They're all hilarious. Yeah. Now, this guy was lucky enough to to catch his dinner and maybe he stopped he's to McDonald's. He's not going to eat that. For and some Nick Nuggets. No, he's not going to eat How do you know he wasn't going to eat it later? That doesn't look very appetizing. I'm getting something to eat before he go to work. Look at this bullshit. <laughs> he okay. brung him in there. This motherfucker right here. Yeah, he's crazy. Boy, I done yeah. seen it all. Somebody need to call 911 <laughs> on this dumb ass. Yeah, he's right. He gonna bring a dead ass Ugh. motherfucker Ugh. raccoon and put him on the table. He's it's, so nasty. It's so nasty. It's Ugh. so nasty. He's so right. It's gross. Nigga, you so motherfucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> well, as long as we're on animal clips, yeah, yeah. do you mind if I show you a clip that I found? Okay. That I thought you might like. It's um the 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 dentist one. Oh. Okay. Do you have it in your bank bank? Uh, Blue no, Blue Band has Which that. Which one? It's the the dentist one. Oh, okay. I'll load it up. Thanks. Um. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I just figured since we're on the animal How did you theme, find this? I was just on Facebook, social Bullshit. media, Facebook. That is not what you did. Yeah. Really? No, I swear to God. I, you know me. I'm always on the socials. I'm looking at stuff. I'm finding interesting things for the show. No, you're not. Oh, here you go. Oh, for so this one's for sake. you, Tom. <laughs> what are you doing, Gabby? Oh. So nice. You're a little poor. <laughs> click, click. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice oh. rat cleaning those kids' braces. The braces are dirty and the rat is eating out the food from the braces. Oh. It's so Anymore? repulsive. Mm -hmm. Never wash. A little soggy now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you realize <laughs> that if I were in the same room as that kid? Out taking that thing and throwing it with everything I have against the wall. Yeah. Like I would have grabbed it out of his hand and be like, hey, watch out. Wham! And just watch it splatter against the wall. You wouldn't let a rat clean out your dirty braces. Oh. You know, I've never seen you get this grossed out by stuff. Usually I'm the one. That's true. And I'm so excited I finally found your threat. Look how happy it made you. I know. You made it made, it made you really I happy. I know. Because I'm usually the one having to watch guys but ejaculate see, into things. Oh, I got some of that for you. Don't no worry. Thanks. But don't worry, but see how happy it made you? Yeah. It made you Now happy. I get it. Um, oh, uh, since we have, this is actually, uh, this shit is big time. This, um, oh. Oh. this is a big deal um, because we uh, lost our sponsorship money. We have some new merchandise. Oh, right. That is um, in the uh, store and this is like pretty exciting stuff. So what we have, first of all, is <laughs> that um, whenever I have overstock of um, like a specially tour made tour poster from a weekend, this one got people flip for Paul Granice designed it. Um, he's my oh man, awesome poster designer. This is the one that's from Oklahoma City, San Antonio, Houston and Dallas. They always go quickly. So just go to the store, see if you can get one. They're all signed. It says, let's get physical making comedy. And it has me uh, with a knife and a. Cowboy, yeah. hat. it's it's really awesome. It wouldn't be my first choice for a tour poster they, for you. They but... were very popular. Sure. Um. So uh, try to get one of those. Then, really exciting. This uh, was a design that was sent to us actually like a couple years ago. Oh yes. And we actually, I actually have this mouse pad at home. That's right. And then we decided to uh, have them made because people would ask me about that. And in addition to that, we have custom try it out guy stickers <laughs> from the try it out guy and these are you so basically you get them together so you get the try it out guy you get the mouse pad um and it's a great drawing of the try it out guy oh my it's god it's so funny if you uh if you have a chance blue band i don't know if you can find out who uh designed both of those try it out 
but um, I'd love to give them a shout. And then finally, for the people, Look at his tits on the tryout. I know, it's got so huge ridiculous. tits. Uh, oh my god! It's it's become such a phenomenon here. The last <laughs> couple of weeks, uh, we decided to do an official cool guy club shirt. <laughs> the cool guy club. <laughs> Uh, this is official member of the Cool Guy Club. Uh, Batteries not included. Um, so yeah, that's favorite. on. It's got the sale. foot up on. Yeah, the, the foot up. My the, favorite part. The foot is the signal, of course, that you're putting a butt <laughs> plug in. So it's uh, it's our own little wink and nod to everybody who's in the Cool Guy Club. Yep. And you can let people know that you're also the, you're a card carrying member, official member of the Cool Guy Club. <laughs> So, uh, thank you very much. Um, those three items are have been Ugh. added to the store. Merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura. That is so nasty. It's pretty nasty. Ugh. 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 Um, the cool guy club. The cool guy club. <laughs> That's, uh, um, is that Josh Potter's voice? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. No, it's just a cool guy. Oh. Um, by the way, this is just, just to tell you how amazing our fans are. Yes. We really do have... You guys are the best, the funniest, unprompted, just them hearing about what went down with McDonald's. Oh no. Our fans went to McDonald's Instagram page <laughs> and just bombarded. <laughs> like if you open any of the recent posts from McDonald's, it's just your mom's house fans. <laughs> it's hilarious. And I, I, I was pointed to it by somebody and I was like, oh, we didn't make, we didn't ask people to do no, that. No, we didn't. They just did it on their own. <laughs> That's the best because part. Because they're, they're the best. <laughs> um, they're just comments like, this is under a, like a regular McDonald's post. It says, so here's the deal, man. You fired YMH for Terry's review of a butt plug and Jack sleeve. <laughs> Those other dudes are in the cool guy club. Guess who's not? You, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> It says, good morning, Julia. I wanted to let you know I built all these McDonald's for you, Julia. That's the type of guy you're getting. Can you believe only four strokes? Come over and try it out. Uh, it says, Rip McDonald's. YMH was the best thing that happened to your company <laughs> since Moose Soup. Maybe do some research next time. Wow. Um, yeah. Well, so. that is a good point. I mean, if, I feel like we were told they did their due diligence, and then they got upset about what we normally do. So whatever. You I know. guess they put a... Um, a post where they wrote something about adventure and this person wrote adventure. You didn't want to try it out with Terry jeans up. Um, all you had to do was take 10 and 12 Benadryl and try it out. Goodbye Hitlers. I mean, this is like all their comments. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, thanks very much for that. Yeah. Another thing that's happened in the uh, yeah. Instagram world mm. is, um, you guys, uh, have been pretty on top of, garth's instagram <laughs> for a while now like every time garth posts something he uh um all the comments it's it got to the point of your mom's house fan yeah i, like that. I was yeah. looking at garth's every post and within seconds it was just littered yeah. with ymh there were no more genuine garth fans yeah well his uh his team <laughs> has starting has started auto banning things huh. like the moderators there have um um taken like uh they look for hot words now you know they found yeah. words like i think piss on me um uh, beat <laughs> Hit, me hitler. hitler yeah um but there's still words you can get in there yeah, <laughs> yeah. i'm sure there are some that they haven't yeah. caught on to yet like i don't think they know that garth could be in the cool guy club but i don't know that maybe they don't know about hardcore fun yet no, not at all. I mean, that's that's definitely. I really like that. This is a kind of a newer thing. That's a that's a newer thing for sure. Hardcore fun. Um, <laughs> so, the, by the way, his new album is titled Fun. Oh, and so he asked for listeners or like mm. fans to send in suggested hashtags. <laughs> He's like, can you? Y'all are better at hashtags than me, so y'all suggest them. And it was nothing but your mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I suggested the big ass fun album. Oh, that's good. I thought that was fun. Um, yeah. So I, I really like fun. I really like fun. Uh, um, big ass stadium tour. Yeah. This got inducted to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> but now he should definitely go for hardcore fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Could you play the other clip that she says? Do we have it? Um, that would be so. I goes, think so. hardcore fun. That would be so. You know what? Oh yeah, R worded. R worded. 
don't know if that's in here. Hello, are you? How, how are you today? Are you having a hardcore fun? Are you having a hardcore fun? Oh, uh, would that what's be in up? last week's thing? Are you having a hardcore? Here, I found it. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh you did have it. Yeah. What is it? Sorry. You are completely retarded. <laughs> <laughs> that is really. <laughs> That's really something, you know? But she doesn't pronounce the word that correctly either. She doesn't pronounce it that correctly? Retarded. Yeah, she says, she says it. You are, you are completely. Yeah. yeah. What did yeah. she say? You are, you are completely. What? I don't know. What's the next thing? I forget. <laughs> you are completely retarded. Yeah. With a little vocal fry on the end too. Yeah. Okay, I got it now. I got it now. Thanks. You Wait. are completely <laughs> retarded. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. Hardcore fun? <laughs> <laughs> this is a teacher. That's an English teacher. Ah, uh, life is fun. So you trying to learn English? Yeah. <laughs> Come talk to Go me. Go to her. Yeah. Yeah. Really something. Um, Gene, you told me um that you were <clears throat> you were what was it? You were at a, were you at a lunch and you, yeah. so I went to, I, sometimes I go to this place in Malibu and I sit there and I have lunch and I just look at the ocean and I was, there's a couple next to me. It was like, um, like the rich, the rich guy yeah. and he's got like the hot 20 something year old model Fuck from, yeah. um, Siberia. She was literally from Siberia and, um, and they just gone like, they went for a walk and they were having like a champagne boozy lunch and uh and he and he's he's trying to woo her and get laid and you know she's like well in my country we don't have sunshine yeah. <laughs> and he's like well i can't believe that because you're all the sunlight i need like yeah. that kind of shit yeah and at one point she's like you know i <laughs> i don't have a good memory i don't remember things and he's like well i hope you remember our first kiss like uh. i know it's so rad you I'm said like, she was a smoke show, right? Dude, look, hot. and here's the deal, man, is that I totally was, like, judging her. I'm like, whatever, she's hot, but she's, like, this dumb box of rocks. Which so. is what you want in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> what do you, wait, what, yes. I guess because he just wants to get If laid. you're trying to smash, you, you want, like, you don't want a fucking professor. Right. You know. That's true. You and want I, somebody who's like, that's shiny. That's And that's exactly how she was talking. Yeah. Like, she, he would bring up a point and then she would over talk about it. Like, he's like, yeah, a friend of mine got fired uh, the other day because he didn't observe the brand or something. She's like, I totally agree. It's so right to do what the boss tells you. And like, she's just so lame. Anyway, I'm judging her. I'm judging her. And then he's like, uh, the guy goes at one point, he's like, you know, you're perfect, right? And um, <laughs> I know. And then he's like, what are your tattoos of? And then she goes, well, the first one is um, Socrates. The unexamined life is not worth living. And I was like, oh, my God, that's actually really smart. And that's like yeah. something I live by. And yeah. then she's like, the other one is um, Aristotle. And then she has like a fucking Aristotle quote. And I was like, oh, my God, she is perfect. Like it was so you're like, kind of fucked up. Yeah. And smart. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. oh, I'm the worst person yeah. in the world. I also would say that's not perfect, but yeah. To be smart? Well, it's kind of a bummer when like, <laughs> if you take out, a, I remember you take out a girl God. and you're like, She's hot, hot, you know, easy to manipulate, like, like you get excited. Right. And then she starts. Easy to manipulate. You know, she starts with her, all her words. You're like, Bad. oh, fuck. She's got all these thoughts. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's kind of depressing. Well, but. you know, that's what he wanted. Cause this girl was clearly like a, like a Siberian model. Like she really was cute mm. and he just wanted to get it in there after lunch. Like I think cause it was a hotel and I think he wanted to be like, let's just go, let's go right now. Yeah. Let's go right now. Next time. If you don't mind, maybe snap a couple of pics. Oh, babe. Well, I mean, so we you can, are so nasty. So we can examine it. Gosh. Yeah, we want to take a look, talk that about it more. So I can't even see you doing something like that. Honestly. Doing something like what? Like just like well maybe like in 10 years when you have your full midlife crisis yeah and you abandon the kids and me yeah but what <laughs> i mean right now i got a bang bus I jesus christ I, is that all I, you guys are doing no, on there oh for sure the bang bros look yeah like i just tell i, I have somebody go in the audience and like pick out those scuzzy ones you know be like her, her whoever's her. in the rub rub shirt that's yeah. the candidate yeah. go get them line them up yeah get them on the bus 
We do a little drive around the venue. Everybody rides the pony, uh. and then we throw them out the door. Okay. Um, I guess now that he's in prison, we can talk some smack. Did, uh, you, did you hear these rumors about Cosby that he would do a similar thing? What's going on with the cops? <laughs> I had heard a rumor, this is years ago, mm-hmm. okay, Rudy, that the cause would have somebody pick out hoes, too. Damn, that's a rock show move. I've never heard that happen in a comic show. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> then, I, and especially at a Cosby show, they're like, look, I for, know. The, look for the sluts. Yeah. On top of them on the shoulder. Maybe this isn't Cosby. But May, I, Oh, now you're That like, must be somebody else. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Cosby's like people from Whatever. families and bring their grandmother to see him. Oh, I know. Before this shit. But that's why I'd, I, when I'd heard this before, well, I was like... Just suck some dick. Yeah. So he would have girls... Suck his peen through a fence. Did you hear that? What? Yeah. I swear to God. I promise you. Wait, wait. He would find hoes. You heard this. I heard this. But from a reputable show business insider source. I heard... Wait a minute. I heard the fence story about another comic, though. Maybe it's that other person. Okay. (laughs) Maybe not the cause. It doesn't sound like a Cosby... But it does, though. Meet me by the fence. (laughs) Oh. Okay, maybe it's the other person I'm thinking of. I dropped something through the fence. Yeah. You can't see him being like that. Oh, my pooty is squirting (laughs) through the fence, Rudy. (laughs) Somebody got to clean up all this tapioca. (laughs) Oh, wow. How much to do it with the cause? It couldn't have. What? What? How much to do it with him? Not now. Now he's all blind. Uh, I thought you meant... (laughs) Not now. He's a convicted sexual oh. deviant <laughs> yeah, well, I'll felon you, in right. prison. Yeah. You're like, no, his eyes don't work. <laughs> okay. I'm just silly, guys. Uh, that really wasn't the rule for me <laughs> that I was looking for. But I'm not the rapey part? Yeah, the rapey part's kind of bad. Mm. Who would you rather do, though, Cosby or Weinstein? Don't forget about the balls. Oh. <laughs> Who would I rather do? Yeah. <sighs> Consensually. I mean, you don't have to be drugged. Well, probably the cause between those two. Really? Yeah, Weinstein is so disgusting. He's so disgusting. But so is cause now. Yeah, but less so. I, I can see the, <laughs> the degrees of gross. <laughs> Weinstein is horrendous. And looking. the cause is going to make me giggle a few times. I don't know, though. Not if you're awake. He might be. He might like you lifeless, you know? That's true. He might be annoyed that you're t- a chatty, kind of how you are with your Siberian sluts. Ugh. You think he would just put it in while you were sleeping? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's his whole mo. He's like, he, that's what he likes, right? Yeah, I guess that's really gross, man. I know it's such a bizarre proclivity. Like, I don't. There's I don't the get sleeping it all. body. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's like that's towing the line of some serial killer shit. But no, you know? like, no. Like, like, yes. She's almost dead. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean that it's Imagine if he would have done his some Kill Bill his, stuff. his dark hour like the Cosby like I like to fuck him when to sleep him and people were like what? <laughs> and then he just did all his That would be incredible. That would be like his breakthrough I know. explosive new hour. I feel like we have to open the comedy gates and allow our uh convicted comedy friends like you can do one more hour of stand-up but you have to talk about the darkest shit yeah just give it to us you man. got you can't no more of this you go to the dentist and then you got the uh, faces all rubbery <laughs> yeah the spit yeah. yeah i mean he would straight just sit in a chair for like hours sit there sit in a two chair. hour set i know seated Jesus. And to be uh, to be completely honest, like I know he was funny when I was a kid, right? Yeah. But I don't think I could sit through any of those concert videos. Like I would watch Eddie Murphy over and over. Yeah. But him just fucking sitting in a chair, I'd be like, no, oh, I could I, watch I it. I can't take that. Really? Oh, what? oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill Cosby himself was like the first thing I ever saw. Yeah. And it was. Uh, here's the thing. I mean, <laughs> I didn't have a developed comedy mind. I right. was nine, but I was in tears mm-hmm. watching that guy. I mean, I was a kid, but. For someone to sit there and tell talk and just make you cry laughing like that, yeah. But isn't that crazy that he could entertain a nine year old? Yes. That his sensibility and his his real stuff was just so dark. So dark. The, yeah. He's a fucking murderer. Basically. He's not a murderer. Okay. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, that's Psycho. true. Psycho. Hey, are we by the way confirmed blue band for um, does Doctor Drew's show start next week? Um, we're going to be recording our first episodes. Um, 
next Monday. Monday. So and they'll come out the fo- They'll come out on Friday. Uh, if everything goes right, audio will come out Thursday. Video will come out Friday on our YouTube channel. Oh, exciting! Uh, that's very exciting. Can we plug these the contact stuff for people? Yeah, you sure can. So Doctor Drew is going to be uh, watching clips. He's going to be answering emails and questions, and he's also going to be talking to comics. Um, if you want to ask Dr. Drew a question, you can write an email to drdrewafterdark at gmail.com. That's D-R-D-R-E-W after dark at gmail.com. Or you can, this is a, a setup number. Yeah, it'll go straight to voicemail, but if you know. If you have a like a really urgent, important question that yeah. you want Dr. Dr. Drew's opinion on. Okay. Yeah, and I would also suggest if you're calling in and leaving a voicemail, please have your thoughts put together before you leave the voicemail. You may even want to write out a script of what you want to say. And I know it's gonna it's probably gonna get a lot of um jokey stuff, which is fine. I mean, that's just the world we live in. But if you have a real question, he'll answer that too. So if you want to ask him something real you can yeah you look, can leave the sincere it's message. it's not a joke that yeah. his first name is doctor no yeah no, no it's 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 yeah legit like the guy's you know and the guy really is this very smart thoughtful oh yeah sincere dude so i mean you know he can answer your questions so you know let's leave hope a, some legit ones come in here you go leave a voice but you'll throw us on the screen too right um the number yeah let's yeah, just I'll put it in the description it. at least yeah yeah so it's 818 253 one six nine three. That's eight one eight two five three one six nine three. And also leave a callback number in case for some reason Dr. Drew would want to know answer follow ups. I'd, yeah, I'd say don't don't leave a callback number. We get that in the message. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go, mom. Ignore Christina. As Ignore usual. what I just said. She's so, cool. um as usual, Tom. <laughs> that is so rude. <laughs> I'm throwing jokes around. I hope your Siberian second wife. Um, speaking of the cool, cool guy club, <laughs> there was an awesome, awesome suggestion, and that was from Pete uh, Holmes. We we realized it kind of all tied together, and that was that um, the previous week when we played Terry, uh, the cool guy, he was. Putting his butt plug in, yeah. <laughs> um, and he what? What is he? He had his his uh, what's it called? His his mistake, his ruined orgasm, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. Everybody kind of just let it go, and then everyone, everyone just kind of. Well, like, everybody was like, "Yeah, that happens, right?" But then Pete Holmes made a great point. Do you have that clip of Pete Holmes? Listen to Pete Holmes here. When you hear a real orgasm or a real laugh, yeah. when you speed them up or slow them down, they sound like animals. Oh, right? that's And that's how you can tell, he said. Pete Holmes said that if you actually really slow it down, mm-hmm. you can hear, um, if you hear it in like an animal sound, you can tell that it's real. And if it doesn't, you can tell that it's fake. Okay. So one of the things that happened to me, I've been thinking about Uncle Terry a lot. <laughs> Um, I wanted to know because you don't actually see it. <sighs> Did he really have an orgasm? Okey doke. Are you, you know? telling me I'm getting to relive the audio? Well, now? here's the normal. Let's listen to his normal. No speed. thanks. I don't really like. Oh fuck it. Oh fuck 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 fuck. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. <sighs> so gross. God damn it. Well, here's okay. the thing. Are you toying with me? That's what I thought. You know. <laughs> Are you messing with me? You don't believe that he had a real ruined orgasm? Well, I wanted to listen to Pete's suggestion and, mm-hmm. and have a little test. So <laughs> I talked to the boys and I said, can you slow this down to see if this is oh, real or not? You guys uh, you hired like a forensic audio. Exactly. We spend money and time on this. Absolutely. <laughs> Thousands of dollars. And what we wanted to know is, does this sound like an animal? Oh, because okay. that's the, that's the home suggestion, right? Gross. So let's see. <laughs> it does sound like an animal. No. We could slow it down even no more. Thanks. Yeah, let's slow it down even more and see if you really hear an animal. Uh, Close your eyes. No. <laughs> Whoa, it does sound like. Whoa, he sounds like a grizzly bear. Yeah. 
<sighs> yeah, that's, that's Terry. real. That's Terry. Dude, is that real? Yes, that's slowed down. That's super slowed down. Whoa. Yeah, it's real. It's legit. That's so crazy. <laughs> oh my God. That's really scary. It is, right? <laughs> it's really something, Fuck. man. Yeah. That's crazy. That's your Uncle Terry. That's not my Uncle Terry. And I think that's Uncle Christina's Terry. Uncle Terry. And I think the verdict is... That's a real... That's real a real... Orgasm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was really cranking it. That seemed, I think that... I don't think he was playing with us, you know? No, I yeah. never thought he was... I mean, that sounds like the fucking predator. I, I know. I yeah. didn't think he was joking, though. I That guy's all in. You think so? He's all in. We actually have a really crazy revelation about him. Oh, I know. Well, um, should we do it now? Yeah. Dude, I had no idea that we actually played. But read that after, okay? Okay. We actually played <sighs> Terry. Yeah. On this show. <laughs> His name is before. Pete, right? His name is Pete. Peter? Yes, but we just call him Terry. <laughs> and um, I had no idea <laughs> that we played him oh, boy. at like 100 episodes ago, 50 or something. This was from episode um, 439. So that's about 50 episodes ago. So like, so like almost a year ago. A year ago. ago. Um, and uh, here's what stands out. A, Pete's been in the game for a minute. Yeah. He has been fucking things and putting <laughs> things in his ass. This footage looks like it's got to be. The fucking stuff game? I mean, it's got to be 20 years old. Uh, and he's still the same guy. Same old Pete. Shirtless, happy. Yeah. And wanting to fuck stuff. Hi there. Uh, my name is Pete, and today I'm going to be demonstrating a new toy that I got. And the <laughs> cool thing about it is it incorporates a power drill <laughs> and a flashlight and your hard dick. When you okay, yeah. use the cordless. Whoa. Whoa. Look at his okay. joy on his face. Look at the glee. Oh, he's like, so happy. That is glee. That's yeah. something I haven't felt since I was four. You can't. I mean, that. look at that, and look at the stash. Is this from the seventies? It's old. No, I think my guess is that this is probably. Uh, I mean, I know the internet wasn't 90s? in the seventies, but he looks like he's like a. I'm he's guessing got the this stash is, this and the is hair. Like Mid nineties. That's crazy. He's still he's still he's fucking still stuff. Still fucking stuff. Yeah. And on the on the internet. Making, making videos. Making videos. Okay. Look at him. Look how happy he is. You get a a really fun toy. <laughs> I mean, did he make he that? Built this. He made that. I think he did. I think there's a very good chance that he made that. Of course. That doesn't he look did. like he bought it from a store. <sighs> Do you think wait a minute. Now this this is opening up a whole new thing. Do you think Terry made that fuck sleeve then? Did he custom no, the double no, no. fuck sleeve? No, 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 no. That's that you can buy. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I mean I'm I'm on the road a lot. You can buy. Sure. Yeah. What, so you and your friend can. Yeah, I mean everybody that opens for me, we usually do a double <laughs> a fuck sleeve on the tour bus. Yeah. Full charge, and you do the double sleeve. Or we'll do it right before the show, like just green room. <laughs> we both put our dicks in it and we fuck it. <laughs> and then we come on each other. Hey guys. Heads. And then it's a cool thing. Yeah, we just come together yeah. and then um, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have we go have a great it's, show. It's like how Madonna and the Truth or Dare documentary would do a group prayer before yeah. every show. It's you like that. and Full Charge do a group jerk. It's comedy, man. Yeah. You're trying to have fun you out there. You guys do the fuck sleeve and then yeah. you go on perform. This yep. guy I don't thank you for not I don't want to watch this again. So thank you for not making uh, it. yeah, so if you guys wanna nope. visit Good. Terry again. It's He's a, there. It's a really yeah. good. <laughs> that's pretty great, right? <laughs> and I bet it worked. Unfortunately, he didn't have an orgasm on that tape. Oh, he didn't? No. Uh, check this out. We got an email, Gene. Yeah. Hey, mommies. I can't believe the reaction Christine gave to the video of the, bo of the bro making some sweet review vids of bro toys <laughs> for his fellow bros who use toys. It was bromophobia at its worst. Uh -huh. It's almost like she doesn't support the looking good bro, totally LGBT movement at all. <laughs> Just here for the crown molden Joe. Wow, uh, you got really called out there. I think he's right. It's I think a, I am bromophobic. Guy called you a... Uh, bromophobic. Called you a Joe hater. Bro so this is the type of guy you're getting. <laughs> I'm brophobic, not yeah. homophobic, bromo. What's going on with my ear? My See, earbuds? that's too complicated. You look like Wolf Blitzer with all this shit it. in your ears. 
I love it. I can't do it. I feel like the the earbuds is too loud. Let me take, let me take it and then I'm always worried about them falling out. I'm too self-conscious. Ugh, they look terrible on you. Really? You look like a total dad nerd. I kind of like it. No, you look really stupid. I got to tell you. I, I love do? you, so I'm going to tell you. Yeah. It looks silly, Tom. Hmm. It doesn't look cool at all. You look like you should be out in uh, Afghanistan doing a... Like reporting? Yeah. It's a little intense for just watching a guy jerk video. I love it. Yeah, but you're so intense. You're like Anderson Cooper there. Live from uh, Kabul. I just wish that this one would fit like the other one. Right. They don't. Why not? (sighs) We're not professional newscasters. Well, we were so dumb, by the way. We were wearing these (laughs) wrong. And then uh, the viewers wrote us in. They're like, maybe don't wear them like you're stupid. (laughs) Stupid fucking bitch. Yeah, and they sent us pictures of the correct way to wear these. Yeah, but the correct way, first of all, works. it's worse for me personally. Yeah. And then I I don't like it. I don't like how the sound is. I like to hear the earmuffs. Hmm. I mean, even though I look ridiculous. Hmm. No. Let me see. It looks intense. You look really weird. But does this one... Does it look the same? Let me see the other one. Well, that ear hole is enormous. But is the, is the headphone the same? Yeah. Am I wearing it the same? Yeah, it looks terrible on both sides. You look so nerdy. Hmm. It's so nerdy, babe. Thanks, Wolf. I'm standing outside the Capitol, <laughs> yeah, and totally. uh, both sides haven't agreed to terms. There will be no funding as of right now for the wall, <laughs> but we'll see after Speaker and the President reconvene. We're hoping <laughs> like that, that they'll be able to vote uh, on whether or not the government can reopen. Back to you. Thanks, yeah, Wolf. That's what you look like, whereas I look like... We are the Braxtons and you'll see that we are not like an ordinary I am keeping, family. I am, Trina Tate Martin. I am keeping my dork phones in. <laughs> Thank you. I'm keeping them. You look really nerdy. It's fine. I like it. I really like it. Um, Gosh. No chicks are going to date you like that. You're not going to get your Siberian model that way. You said that you're getting uh, a lot of cool fans out there (laughs) i don't understand why everyone was a fucking stupid idiot right thanks for bringing it up (laughs) are people saying nice things yeah i i did uh i did melrose i was on uh, the the joe rogan show yeah and i got up on stage and a drunk woman in the front goes christine you fucking bitch and I was like, that's a little intense, yeah. lady. It doesn't A have lot to of be- women out there are fully fucking full of shit and they're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like I I wouldn't I'd leave out the fucking, you know? I felt that kind of made it harsh. I was like, whoa. I I'd forgotten for a second. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Don't you agree? Like fucking bitch is too far. It's a lot. It's yeah. heavy. Stupid bitch, okay, dumb bitch. Yeah, it's a lot. By um, the way, this Christine stuff, I, I, I just remembered I was looking at our wedding album. Yeah. Do you know that when Tom and I got married, the priest that married us in the Bahamas during the ceremony called me Christine? Yeah. I think legally that gives me an out. <laughs> Babe. I think it means that like, you know, we're serious, but we're not married, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you're terrible right that is so rude not even, you know your name's not even said correctly. i bet you there's a lot of ymh listeners out there that would love uh, to be married to christine oh i bet i bet they're you're right yeah and you are welcome to take them <gasps> off on that offer <laughs> oh my god what is happening to us well not that i just feel like you know it's pretty obvious women are stupid <laughs> Jesus. Tom, I have to pee. Open your mouth. Well, here's the thing. Why don't we take um, yeah, a uh, a quick break and we'll come back with uh, one of the all-time most celebrated um, favorite guests. I mean, people just absolutely love Yoshi. Oh, yeah. So we'll be back here Strong with Yoshi performer. in just a moment. We'll be back to talking about farts and dicks after this quick break. And we are back with one of the all-time Hall of Famers, a first ballot uh, guest, if you will. Oh, yes. Uh, He always has amazing stories, (laughs) and we're so happy to welcome back the great... Yoshi. Make yourself oh. useful, you stupid, dumb, fucking cock-sucking motherfucker. Yay! Hey, buddy. Yoshi's Thanks, back! 
We've You're missed back. you. Your fans are so nice to me. They really okay. are. They love you. They're, and uh, thanks for having me on the show. Of course. And I have to say, there's a trend in uh, show business when someone becomes really famous and successful. Can you speak closer into the mic? Oh, oh sorry. Pull it back. Yeah, right. put it to your mouth. Like this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that okay. better, Blue Band? Um, is that good? Don't forget, he's like a shy Asian guy. Oh, got it. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yoshi's super shy. Got it. Yeah. Very Does it sound okay now? Or? I think so. Yeah, okay. I yeah, think yeah. so. There's a trend you said in what? In well, I, know, I noticed over the years, once someone becomes really famous, they will cut off all that uh, less successful friends. So you guys never did that. Oh so, yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god, jeez. No, but I mean that's I know. I mean I'm not going to name names, but um, you and Russell Peter's been really good to me, and uh, of course Norton and Atel. But yeah, yeah, of course, Ben. But you're a friend. We yeah. loved you for years. Yeah, yeah this is all. You, you had know. no reason to, but thank you. Oh, <laughs> no, we've no. always been we've always been big fans. You know, I mean, we actually got together. You were um, up in Sacramento when I was there. Not this latest time, but like a year and a half ago or something like that yeah yeah and you came you did spots yeah and you were very generous with your show and um yeah, yeah. I, li I like i really like your fans you always They're make you always make me laugh man where have always. you been we haven't seen you in yeah. what two years now it's been a long time pretty close to two years yeah been are you traveling? yeah because also last time we you talked to us you were um you would volunteer well you'd get paid to uh, allow medical testing to be done you do, do you do those trials i still do them yeah and just so I, people I, understand, I, like mm -hmm. if they're listening now for the first time, yeah. When there's a new medication, they're like, "Oh, this will treat maybe Alzheimer's or pancreatic cancer." Pancreatic yeah. cancer. They have to do a trial to see the effects of the Jesus drug Christ. on a live human being, and right. they pay those people to be essentially human guinea pigs. Right. They do it on on animals first. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Then they do on Asians. And, uh, <laughs> so, animals and Asians. <laughs> and you. Yeah. <laughs> sign up for these yeah is this your primary income source then i just don't make enough money i mean when i do show with jim norton or atel and and russell it's a really good month because they're so generous mm -hmm. but i don't always do those shows and quite often when i do my shows regular shows half the female audience are covering their faces so yeah that's not a best way to make money <laughs> right but um yeah primary but i do get really weird gigs on the side you know like consulting stuff on adult business and things like that right because uh, again <laughs> for for the new listener yeah you worked in the adult business as like it was it uh editor or yeah and um producing dvds and pr and um, for a long time yeah this month it's actually I, I hit 28th year mark involving a business yeah and um me and my friend brendan daly saw the movie to showtime for pandemic it's it's been on it and we were kind of shocked because I thought maybe 4,000 people watch the first week. He told me not to give the number, but the number was significant higher the first week. People have been watching it. On so. Showtime? Yeah. Porndemic? Th it's yeah. available now? People yeah. can watch? Okay. What's it, uh, what is the premise of the... It's a funny documentary. It is? Uh, no, I'm joking. Oh. Um, <laughs> there was HIV outbreak in adult business 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a guy named Mark Wallace been accused of spreading HIV. He supposedly lied on test results. And we found him, and but even I was kind of shocked. It was very ambiguous. Maybe, maybe, Did he lie? Oh, that's it. That's part of the movie. You'll find it in the movie. But okay. I worked on it. I'm I'm still kind of like confused about whether or not he lied. Well, what happened was paperwork looked suspicious, but the medical facility that he was getting tested moved to another location, so the paperwork was a little um, messed up. And I don't think it's necessary. He might have not done it. It could have been honest mistake on the clinic, you know. Oh. So. But so we still don't know whether he knowingly lied. Is it? I mean, I think he's guilty of affecting people. He was so um, difficult meeting with the industry people because whenever there's an HIV case, they do this backward map who are infected and see who had sex with them last yeah. one yeah. week, a month. They go backwards and test everyone and see who's, you know, and if they're negative, obviously they didn't infect anyone. Well, Mark Wallace didn't want to get tested. He was the last guy to be tested. He refused to do it for a long time. Oh. And finally so we did knew. it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's a little bit, you know, it's 20 years, so even my, you forget things, you know, like, so. So what does he do now, just out of curiosity? <laughs> I mean, I was shocked when Brandon found him three, four years ago because 
honestly, if if that was my daughter and she was she's HIV positive because I'm, I would kill the guy, but um, he's still alive and we found him in Vegas. Uh, is he still like around the adult business though? I don't know what he does, but don't I don't know. think so. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Even hmm. like world famous male talent Tom Byron. Uh, male, t- sorry, who? Tom Bryan? No, uh, Tom Byron. Tom, Tom Byron. Byron. What is he known for? I, I mean, know he, this guy. He, 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 he's, he's been in tons of movies since he was 18 and he's, he was in the business for 30 years. And, um, you know, I think he's driving Uber. There's nothing wrong with it. But um, if you don't take care of your personal finance, it's not like I could judge them. I'm in a bad shape too. But um, there are people uh, who, they're having a hard time making transition from performing the business for a long time in the next yeah. phase. Like you guys are very successful comedians, but you know there's other comedians that you know over the years, you know, they're struggling or yeah, do I know? Yeah, yeah. 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 So. Well, there's a time limit on everything in every form of entertainment. Mm-hmm. You know, you need kind of a, a an exit strategy. Sure. So that makes sense. Yeah, yeah so, I'm actually going to go from, I'm planning on going from comedy <laughs> into the adult business. <laughs> oh, like, opposite. As a performer. But I'm going to get into that like, that dad older dad porn is that a is that a genre yet it's it's very popular actually dad stuff well like i'm saying like i'm 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 probably gonna do stand up i'm hoping another 10 to 20 years right and then it'll be like why why 10 to 20 you 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 could do it for 40 more years oh come Um, on but it's he's physically it breaks him down to tour so probably better to segue is this a joke of being serious i'm being serious i think well like i think about i'm 30 i'm gonna be 40 right um, so if I do it stand up for 20 years, I'll be 60. Right. That, that's a perfect time to, to kind of like wind down the touring and be like, I'm going to get into some hardcore scenes <laughs> and you know, I'll be fully gray by then yeah. and I'll just be like, uh, I'll, I'll play older, you know, I'll be like, I don't want to, well, I got to uh, go to the bathroom and then like get like the nurse. You know what, in. you know what, that, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. There was this. Really old Japanese guy. He he had uh, one of his VH porn. He was having problem with it, and no one at the retail store in Japan would help him. So he actually um, traveled to the actual company. And when he showed up, this is like 10, 15 years ago. Just with his tape. He yeah, I'm having trouble with my tape. <laughs> yeah. So he, he literally went to c- complain. I forgot the guy's old. name. Uh huh. I'm gonna travel to yeah, get my tape geez. fixed. So he just happened to show up, and they're making porno. So he started watching. And whoever's the male talent was having problem. So they asked the old guy, he must have been 60 some years old, do you want to try it? So he's been fucking ever since then. Oh, what? Wow. Yeah. See, he's, Tom? He must, this is a dream. Tell me more. You need to tell more <laughs> inspiring stories like this to this Tom. This is awesome. Tell me, you could do that. Or I was thinking we could franchise Morton's, be franchise owners That's too. That's true. It's a good idea. Or That's porn, cool. whatever. Whatever you want. I, I mean, love that a, laughter. Here's oh, what I'm I thinking. Know. I'm it's thinking like band. instead of going more traditional, like we have the studio space. That's I, a good point. I start shooting like content here and then put it up on my own site and, and people have to subscribe or buy directly from me. Mm-hmm. It, it, you know what? This is so funny to me. Um, I was in Vegas over the weekend for the yeah. porn AVN award show. Yeah. How'd it go? It was great. Esther Koo killed it. She was great. Oh, you're oh, yeah? Esther Koo. I remember her. Did yeah. she host or something? She hosted. And I was really shocked because I haven't been at uh, the award show in seven years. I was shocked how well the show ran and how disciplined the audience were. Because, you know, David Taylor, Jim Norton, all those guys are very funny. But they always... Were they there too? No, no, no. Oh. They, they hosted before. Oh. But the problem is these young girls will show their tits. And I don't care how funny you are. No one's going to be laughing at your jokes when... Gross that showing their tits. That's true. Yeah. Asshole, you yeah. know? That's a problem at Tom shows. <laughs> yes. That happens a lot. There's a lot of hot chicks showing their tits at my shows. <laughs> You're that kind of guy, right? Everybody tour comes bus. to like, it's the pussy tour. Uh-huh. Yeah. And while, when Esther was hosting, these girls are m- way more professional and proper. And the show ran. They don't want to fuck with a girl, basically. That's true. Right? Maybe yeah. that's something to do with it. It, 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 it ran very, very well. And Cardi B was great. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, she was fantastic. Yeah, and uh, what'd she do? Perform a song or host? yeah, to to beginning and at the end of the show. And really, I couldn't believe the production of it. So it, it, nice. It, it, it was amazing. Oh, but the reason I was telling you, you know how they make these gag 
porn, like they'll remake like Avengers 2, but they make porno version of it. Yeah, like parody stuff, right? I was talking to a couple of directors. They should make a parody porn about uh, podcasting people doing porno. Okay. So when we walked in, I'm not even joking. When I walked in, it's like, they could rent from you guys. Uh Uh-huh. I felt... (laughs) Yeah, and no, no, the parody here. of our show. It'd be fun. Come in your mom's house. Yeah, yeah there we go. There you and go. Have people just shoot all over come the studio. Come in your mom's <laughs> Yes. Oh, thank you for volunteering that idea, great Yosh. idea. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm expecting top get, dollar for <laughs> the use of our space, right? Yeah. They'll be like, here's 100 bucks and some sandwiches. <laughs> just come back in a couple hours. Right. Thank you. Yoshi, can I ask you? I, yeah. Have you ever. Um, have you ever dated a porn star or had sex with a porn I star? I eat the ass and pussy all the time. I got nothing. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know about dating. I hang out with a couple of them, and I'm a little nervous because, like, what am I going to do? You know, I'm old. You know, but um, you don't you're know. Old. You're not. You you look about thirty. You are the perfect guy. Yeah. You and Josh Potter should both. Who's date. that? Josh Potter oh, is sorry. A, one of our uh, producers, a hu- huge, hilarious comic. And you guys are built to date these porn girls. I think you're... Yeah. Yes, because... I agree. You're not going to be weirded out. Yeah. Um, not judgmental. You're not judgmental. You're both like down for... You're not needy, high-maintenance guys. I don't and I don't think... Um, not jealous. I, I don't think dating's the right word, but there's certain performers like... It's not even sex. I like I like their personality. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's even okay. So even better. Yeah, and then you can eat their asses when they get <laughs> and home. they want it mined. Yeah. yeah, and you're not jealous, I think they right? Would mind. If you ate their asses. Yeah, I would imagine so. Why? I mean, well, because I, I think. Oh my god. You know, there's a difference between work and private stuff. You know, I don't. Mm. But I don't assume. I don't know. We'll see. But um, the girl that I like right now. Charlotte Stokely and Adriana Chechik, they're really good personalities, you know. But You uh, like their personalities. Yeah. yeah they're pretty, but, they're pretty because the, it's a business full of beautiful girls, you know, but sure. some of them have like no fucking personalities and, you know. Bummer. No. So, no, these are the girls you like, meaning you know them personally or you're, you're just into their work? I don't know them personally, but I could tell by their Instagram. I think Instagram is a really good You one. don't know them personally? Oh, I mean, I couldn't meet them, but I like why? Like, I, I'm I'm known so many. But you, you're. I think that one of the big issues, right, uh-huh. with guys, yeah, dating a girl in this field is that you, I think you're the you wouldn't get jealous, right, of the work. I wouldn't get jealous, but I'll be I'll, I'll be more like uh, concerned for them. How, in what way? Well, I'll be worried about uh, certain people that they would work with. You know, I know some of the reputations. What yeah, but you, you could. Um, well, what do you mean by that? Certain people's reputations. What do you mean? <clears throat> I think. Hmm, I better be careful. I think um, some guys have some good reputation and bad, right? Yeah. And I think. I think some of them could read a girl and figure out some of the girls are submissive, so they might do stuff that they shouldn't because they won't complain. Or they could get away with it. There's other girls. Oh, I see. There's other girls that's so powerful and strong. They wouldn't tolerate. They that wouldn't. Show. They yeah. wouldn't. So you're saying that there are guys that would push boundaries without asking and kind if of. If they being think they could get away with it, right? Okay. But you would also, because you're kind of well informed, you'd be talking to your, you know, girlfriend in this situation. Be like, ah, make sure you probably don't want to work with this guy or that guy. Well, I don't. Know. I, don't, I heard Segura is great, but some of these okay. other guys are like, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Segura would be great. Yeah. He's a really... <laughs> strong performer? He's, a, he's, a, he's thoughtful, scenes over quickly. Um, he can take a dump and then go right into the scene. It's definitely not going to hurt. It's going <laughs> to... <laughs> By the way, I don't, I don't want to promise anything, but um, because, yeah. because you can get uh, conversation... You can get me into the business. <laughs> because a conversation over the weekend, it was very, it was very surprising yep. convention for me, yeah. but I had several conversations. I think I have a pretty good chance, eventually, I'm pretty sure I could get Rocco Sefredi on the show here. <gasps> oh my God. I mean, he stole my heart, my favorite. Dude. Really? Please. It, 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 of course to come. 
Yes. I, I, I was I really, mean... I, I was really, really shocked because um, what happened was um, I have very bad breakup, and I have to say, oh Yoshi, you were dating somebody? No, no, from Evil Angel. Oh right, yeah. Sorry, I remember that. Mm-hmm. And um, that was a few years ago. Now, how many years ago? It'll be seven years next month. Mm-hmm. And um, Christina, and, and I think you said it too, but. Um, Oh, joke aside, you're a very compassionate person, and I think you. Uh, uh, after we were recording, I think you were concerned how angry I was because yeah. it kind of eats you up, uh, alive inside when you're angry all the time, and that's that's the issue I have. Yeah, deal with. But I I was shocked because um, I met three or four new people working Evil Angel, and they come up to me, uh, you know, offering friendship and. Say nice things because people who were, um, got me fired from Evil Angel seven years ago, all those people are gone uh, last month, um, December. They got all fired. Oh, good. And does that make you feel better knowing that those people are fired now? Do you feel, well, do you feel vengeance has been done? So I, I worked on this podcast called The Last Day of August. Um, this porn star that uh, ended up killing herself a year and a half ago. It's on Audible. And, um, it's for it's for audible listeners only right now. Right now, me. and then it will be available to the general public in April. Okay, by world famous John Ronson. Yeah. and um, I feel vindicated because the things that they have accused me. It's clear if you listen to podcasts, I was vindicated. It's it's all lie. Are you but, mentioned in the podcast? Oh, I'm in it, and I've been oh. mentioned. And um, and then producer Lena, a wonderful job. What is the premise? Because I actually heard about. I saw mm-hmm. this um, in the news yeah. that this was announced. The John Ronson is is the host producer executive producer of this podcast and a and reporter done, and storyteller yeah and he's done other big ones yeah uh, man who stare at goat which george Clooney starred in mm-hmm. he wrote a book called frank which michael fessbender played in yes he wrote a book called uh, psychopath that's you read oh yeah. right that's so, between you and tom that's, that's right. your favorite thing so and, uh, <laughs> but this this is the last days of august <laughs> yeah is a podcast that he produced a multi multi episode podcast yeah that explores why what, she killed herself. Why the, oh. this well-known porn star. A huge star, yeah. yeah. So what happens, he, he made us, this is technically season two. Season one, it's called The Butterfly Effect. Mm-hmm. And it's a story about how wide available porn on the internet, like Pornhub and things like that, how it destroyed porn industry and how much it had an impact on people, especially young people. Uh, their uh, attitude about sexuality and things like that. So that was kind of fascinating. It's it's a great, yeah, it was ranked like top five podcasts in 2017. I don't know much about the sexuality aspect of it, but I know that the business side, the fact that um, the internet and like free content became a thing destroyed the revenue of something that people used to just have to pay for. Sure. So season one is about how high tech destroyed the industry. Mm -hmm. Season two with August, it's about how industry had an impact on individuals right and uh, 2017 five adult performers died um two suicide and three overdose or three suicide two overdose so it was a it was a really rough time (laughs) but the reason john ronson uh picked august ames because he wrote a book called so you've been publicly shamed it's a oh yeah i've heard of this yeah he wrote that book so it was combination of year before he covered adult business and also public shaming this is a perfect storm of shit it's it's a terrible story he was going to work on a story about alex jones but he shifted to um august james Mm. so um they were contacting people and one of them mentioned my name he he and his producer contacted me about a year ago and then i talked to them and um i helped them with um you know they were asking me certain things and i sure you know, I'm not an expert, but I know a little bit more because of my experience. You know, a lot more. <laughs> and, um, but it was really hard on me and them. And I think it's, they, they told me this. It's a very sad and dark story, and, but it's very interesting story. Were, were you friends with the girl? No, mm-hmm. I, I avoided her because everybody told me she's nice, typical Canadian. But her husband is the guy who got me fired from Evil Angel. Oh. So I feel really awkward meeting oh, her. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Jeez. But no, no, this was all, this part of the conversation was all prompted by the fact that you mentioned Rocco. Oh, yeah. What about it? Well, you said that you had. Oh, th- um, this was a, one of many conversations I had with people. And um, um, the people who got me fired. See, what a, what a, okay, it's like Game of Thrones. People that you hate, they get 
killed, but not in the way that you want it to be. So I wish mm. I wish they would get fired after the podcast because I had something to do with. It. They got fired for unrelated to that podcast. Oh, okay. Mm. So I had no, I had no. Too bad. You know. So yeah, I'm happy. I guess they're out of there, but not the way I want it. Does what, that make sense to you? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Sure. You want it to be more hateful and directed to. <laughs> yes. What I is, agree. I'm the uh, same way. So wait, so how do you know Rocco? And are we going to talk to him about yeah, how did YMH? This, and how tell did, him that I, if he remembers our conversation we had Jesus. backstage when Tom was shooting, were you shooting some Def Jam with comedy with Russell yeah, Peters? Yeah. And uh, he and I had a very heart to heart, intimate conversation God. about his Hungarian wife. She's uh, beautiful. They're still together. Oh, yes. Good. And uh, he told me some childhood stories. Even we had quite a moment, Rocco. They really I. did. He, we did. She we was bonded. I swear. Amazing at him. He's I, amazing. Yeah. He's absolutely amazing person. He is yeah. a wonderful man. Fast- Lake my ass. Lake my ass. Yeah. Lake it. Yes. So he, he won, once again won a uh, male form performer of the year. Wait, he's back performing? He's performing, yeah. I thought, oh, I thought he retired. He, yeah. he, he won an award, and uh, but did, wasn't the whole he, he wasn't he wasn't at the convention, but there's new people at the Evil Angel. And every one of them walk up to him and say, hi, I'm so-and-so. Uh, I love hearing all the stories about you. And I hate Adam and Kevin, the two people that got me fired. So that's what, they know how much I hate them. So sure. yeah. that's how they introduced themselves to me. I hate Adam and Kevin. Yeah. But I, I think they seem pretty, it's incredible how they have changed the plays. They're doing a lot of new stuff because they're really suffering because of piracy. Only way, you know, just like when I had a conversation with David Tell, there's some guy in England stole his complete act and doing them word Whoa. to word. What? Oh, yeah. really? <clears throat> yeah. And I, I told him, Dave, what are you going to do? And like he said, like, well, what am I supposed to do? Uh, you know, fly into London, punch the guy in the face? I think Atel's attitude is only thing I could just just keep writing new material. Yeah. There's a guy touring with Dave's material. That's what I heard. It's like Gallagher and Gallagher too. Remember the brother picked yeah, up Gallagher's yeah. act. But he like licensed it or something. Yeah, you know? yeah no one licensed it. But like, tells. is is the is the guy in England is he must be like a opener level comic, right? He's just like. Yeah, I think so. So uh, I, I don't know if they were still doing it. That's gonna backfire pretty bad. It should, and I think Evil Angels are doing a lot of new things. You know, so like. Uh, as long as you create something new and you have a better interaction with fans. And I think, ironically, Instagram and things like that are helping a lot of these female talents with their fan base. I agree. They can harness it. <coughs> they have more power now. Maybe they can build websites, right, that yeah. are membership-based and, and create their own content. That's the big thing, right? Yeah. Everyone doing their I, own I, thing. I do that. I think that's really helping the girls in the business, almost shifting power away from the studio. And, Good. And some of these girls, you know, they have three, four million Instagram followers, and I don't know how you make money, but I think they are because that's a lot of people. It sure is. You know, so so that's a one good thing, you know. And um, wait, Yoshi, you mentioned when we sat down here that you're uh-huh. producing a show. You mentioned a stand up comedy. Sorry, show? can you hold sorry. park yeah. that for a second? Yeah, 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 yeah. How did you think, though? We still don't have the answer. Why do you think that Rocco <laughs> right. would be willing? You're like, I think that, that might happen. <clears throat> because when we asked the last time, uh-huh. Um, I didn't have any sort of support from Evil Angel or they're saying this is a good thing for you. They don't really know you, but because there's new people at Evil Angel, they're willing to promote the company oh. non-traditional way. And and I could tell they listen to your podcast and uh, um, other stuff. And and they're all about promoting the performers, their gotcha, branding. I got you. So next time when Rock will have a big project to promote I got you it'll be easier coming from somebody in upper management now what happened with because you saw the Netflix documentary I'm assuming right yeah so it wasn't the whole thing that he was leaving the life and, and that was how it ended right he went right back again I think so because I think um, he still have financial responsibility to his yeah. family you know yeah. he have to work and I think what I I think it's it's even in a documentary I think or maybe um, something I read afterwards. His wife is not jealous at all. Like no, no, she's, no. Yeah. She seems totally cool. She's like, I got some yoga today. I'll see you yeah. later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like if this is what makes you happy, and go do it. You know, don't just stay home and do nothing. You know, and right. And um, <laughs> it's a hobby. Yeah, like fishing and, or <laughs> cars. And I always say uh, Morocco is like Michael Jordan porn. And, Absolutely. And yeah. if he's even at the 70% level, that's still 70% Michael Jordan, you know? Would you say he's a very strong performer? 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. I didn't even realize I said that. And yeah. uh, when, when I heard you say it, I, I, I didn't know. Yeah, that's all you, man. Yeah. You introduced us to that lingo. Because that's how Rocco, you know, <laughs> pick female talents. He's like strong performer. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Russian ones are really tough. I don't know what's up with them. Really? But yeah. Tough, tough as in Eastern what European and Russians. Yeah. yeah. Not fun? No, no. They're, they're really strong. They could take beatings. They're DTF beatings. is what he's saying. Beatings. Yeah. Well, not literal beatings, but. <laughs> vaginal oh, beatings. Oh, vaginal beatings. I believe it because we're bred for fucking. fucking. Yeah. And we're very hard, uh, hardened. Does he still, culture. is he still pretty hardcore in his movie making? I think so, yeah. And he well, has other. I think so. He has, he has other. <laughs> he'll pick, you know, he'll maybe do one scene, but he'll have a couple other strong male performers. performers yeah. Right. <clears throat> but I think Eastern Europe and Russia, because it's an interesting geography, right? Like they've been invaded. They have yeah. a really strong genetic. And these are like tall, beautiful girls, and they're um, physically beautiful but they're physically strong because it's not an easy place to survive that's right rough terrain yes uh, under communism that's right the under russians Nazi. screw it up the germans screwed it up those regions yeah. absolutely yes um, those people are not flimsy no they're not Rocco sir. seems from what i remember to always kind of always go for the asshole over oh, you know, right kind of yeah leans into that yeah why is that vag is just boring to him Say what? Vag is just boring to him. Yeah, see? Yeah, he's over That's it. what John Salian said. Pussy's bullshit. It's all about asshole. Yeah. You know? Oh. What a nice quote. <laughs> yes. Is that Nietzsche? <laughs> um, now, sorry. So back now. Yeah. Because, yeah. because you could yeah. fake with vaginal sex, but you can't. When you have a huge dick in your ass, so you can't fake it. That's why anal is like a, a big part of it. Because ever since 1997, with Viagra, there's a lot of guys cheat you know like john and i agree with him i think just seeing a naked girl should be enough to get your dick hard and, sure. and if it's not you shouldn't be in the business so rock was before 97 it's it's all him he doesn't have to cheat oh know? i see yeah he's never never <clears throat> soft no now it's interesting you say the vagina is kind of you can cheat but then the butt, you can't cheat as a woman, you're yeah. saying, the female talent. There's no pretend. Well, I mean, okay. Right. okay. That there isn't a 10 inch dick right. in your ass. Right. Because it's not as flexible ah. as the vagine. Ah, like if you like those, yeah. which are my favorite. <laughs> the painful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Yeah. One Plus the vagina stretches. It's, it's meant to accommodate a yep. peener more. Yep. Sure. That's definitely. Wow. That's, I, I didn't know. But I hope everybody go and listen to the last day of last days of august because uh, in season one i think if you really want to know what's going on in porn, Fuck with my ass, man. yeah <laughs> if you want to know what's going on in porn industry you should because i think this this you might agree porn is important because we don't have an adequate sex education in this country unfortunately yeah and at school they don't teach kids and i think parents are irresponsible and they're scared to talk to their kids well guess what when you do that kids gonna talk to other ignoring kids or Watch most porn. likely porn yeah yeah so they're i think industry is always trying to change and i think that suicide last year really shocked the industry and uh every no one was talking about that podcast because i think they're really afraid um what's in it and and mm. people people get blamed for her death in that thing you know so mm. um mm. Mm. Oh, let's talk about that comedy show you were doing <laughs> yeah that sounds really lighthearted. so what is the um yeah you are booking a comedy show? There's a rehab uh, place called Sunny Acres mm -hmm. up in San Luis Obispo. Yep. And uh, we had a one show and... Rehab uh, for? Drugs and alcohol. Okay. But uh, 20 to maybe quarter of the audience member are registered sex offenders. Low level, whatever that means. What but, is a low? Yeah, what is a low level? That That's what they told me. Exposure, but, uh, exposing <coughs> yourself to a minor, maybe lewd and lascivious. Wow, I, that's exactly what my friend Joey said. Oh, yeah, that was wow. his thing. <laughs> Christina well, has like, like, fields like a, of expertise. I'll tell you why. Because um, we used to live in a really dicey neighborhood, and there's that. Um, what is it called? Not the Amber Alert. You, crime maps. You yeah. can look it up on LAPD yeah. crime maps, and it'll tell you what kind of crimes and uh, pedophiles and sex offenders are in right. your neighborhood. And lewd and lascivious conduct, I think, was the biggest one. 
Yeah. Um, exposing oneself to a minor, that's a biggie too. Yeah, just it was just a fun hobby I had back in when we lived I, in the bad I, neighborhoods. I know I got chewed, chewed out by a couple of the comedians for doing it. Sure, it, what happened? What do you mean? Well, so um, some of the comedians, some of the comedians think I'm kind of promoting uh, sexual assault and things like that. Oh, but, by by providing a entertainment for, for low them. level sex offenders, right? But they're sure. in a rehab facility. When yeah, you're they doing? can't leave, and this is like their last resort. So oh. um, I, I apologize to um, people who are running the place, but it's a huge land. And um, I forgot the guy's name. <clears throat> he made tons of money, and uh, he had this huge land in San Luis Obispo. You know these rules, like you have to be a thousand feet away from school and church right. and things oh, like that. Do sure. I ever? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, so he has this facility, which is so big that that it's away from the uh, all those area that you shouldn't be sure. And then he's providing these guys their last chance to turn their life around. And um, and sex offenders need a laugh too. Yes. Right. Did but they, what, but but what's funny is I, I I did only one show with Rosie Tran, and you know, it was a little uncomfortable because I still have a sixth sense of humor. So I had um, eighth grade you? eighth grade T-shirt, eighth grade the movie. So I right. had that I had that T-shirt on, and I did a show, <laughs> and I had for the sex offenders wearing that shirt, and I did a show for them, and I had a lot of sex jokes, and. Uh, they were very careful what they laugh because they're worried that they shouldn't laugh at rape jokes and things like that. Right. So, so, sure. so, 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 <laughs> so, yeah. so when Rosie went up, uh, she did really well. And I had three or four female comedians either cancel or they want to do it because they l figured uh, out that it's, uh, I, no, I told them from uh, day one. Begin, oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Sounds like a really good gig for a woman. I don't know why I <laughs> <laughs> show up for that one. Would you do I that tell you, no. no. I've, and I tell you, I've done a lot in my day. I've, yeah. I've been to Afghanistan. I've done Saudi yeah. Arabia. Uh, I don't know if I could. I, I think I'd be a little timid. Not so, that, you know, I, I'm glad they're trying to rehabilitate themselves. Right. But I'm not sure I'm, I'm their guy. So here, here's my... Do you my, think Puddin' Pop would do it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Cosby all the way. Now that's a prime gig for him. <laughs> oh. You could have gotten Cosby for cheap. A bunch of us has gotten into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, the justice system is so unfair. Yeah, I guess my thinking, and it's it's a very minor minority thinking. I've been going to Germany a lot. Their Wait, way, what's in Germany? Their 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 way of dealing with sex offenders or mm -hmm. uh, pedophiles are, even if they assault someone, they rather they get some help and they will be charged, and uh, they will try to help them, and and they do help them. But the way we have a system here is. There's, there's not even no chance of trying to get help because you'll be ostracized or you might go to jail. So in a really weird logic, you're putting kids more in danger because you put enough incentive to punish them that they shouldn't get any help. My way of thinking, I have a, we're doing a comedy show and uh, have a show, eventually hoping some community members show them, came and watched the show, is that there should be facility for these guys to get help because it's better to them getting help not hurting children then um hate them so much that and they will be uh, in a and have them running the streets yeah and saying, getting not hurt. now, now it's not guy. a it's not a very popular thing to say and i'm, I'm always in a minority and stuff like this but i think in the long run i'm i have a faith in that my way of thinking is probably better than not doing anything about it and thinking that you know fair enough you, you know yeah. but believe but this, me does, I, i've heard earful from people does the rehabilitation work in germany it seems like it i mean i've, I've read several stuff because you know i go there obviously for like uh porn and sex culture and prostitution things like mm -hmm. that frankfurt but, right isn't that your favorite spot where didn't you say frankfurt was your favorite one of the best place yeah, yeah. and uh for Dewey, for prostitution and yeah. prostitution sure. and doing is another good one um is it because uh, it's just like well regulated it's well regulated it's legal and is it like uh the amsterdam where it's like in booths and stuff like that or no it, it's um god I, I forgot um it's it's in it's in the building so it's not open in public uh, in Belgium and Netherlands, it's like one of those open door, open window, mm -hmm. so you see prostitute. But um, I much prefer inside of the building. So there's a building that you know to go to. Go in, and um, 
you'll protect them better. I'm, I'm a little concerned with um, Netherlands and Belgium, places like that, even though they, they protect them very well. Just open in public with cameras and stuff. I don't, I'm just not sure about that. Yeah. But um, so wait, how do you like so you get to when you get to Frankfurt, you know where to go at this point. Sure. And then is that building like everyone? Yeah, has you their go own room? you go in and quite often you have to go um, stairs to the second floor. And uh, usually they're between four to five floors. And each floor had multiple doors with a prostitute in there. And then do you go, do you, do you look at a menu? Do you talk to like a, a madam or something? No, there's no madam in, uh, in the, uh, Frankfurt. There are madam in Athens. It's a different system. Well, there. how would you know if you're in Germany, which door to like, do you just randomly open a door? Um, you, you, you know where the red light districts are. Right. But I'm saying, how do you, you said, pick your, yeah, how do your you pick, lane? Oh, yeah. uh, because there, usually if the doors are closed, that usually means there's no one there or they're busy with the customer. Uh -huh. And if doors are open, usually a girl is sitting on a chair or standing in front of it. Oh, so you're, you're getting a, a show, basically. Like, or yeah, you, you're going to say you... Uh, you can see her already, like she's standing Yes, yeah, so, okay. so, and I think if you're going to do something like that, it's important to talk to them how much it is, how long it is. Yep. And you how go much is it in Frankfurt? It's, it's, it's I guess... The, as uh, low as 20 euros to 50 and um but you tell them do you tell them straight up you're like i want to eat the booty like you tell them straight up sure if you want to do that that day i'm talking about you Isn't yeah your favorite yeah. yeah well yeah i guess so uh, pussy too but um, right but you're like daddy's hungry <laughs> <laughs> i don't say daddy but yeah yeah and do they ever say oh i have to use protection or they all use protection but oh, okay. um so you use like a dental dam or something? Mm -mm. Oh. What do you use? What do you mean? Well, she's saying protection. Like when you're going down on... on... I, don't, I don't put anything. Okay. Oh. Wow. And... Um, oh, so they don't make you use protection for oral stuff. I think maybe I had like one or two girls offer that. And in that case, I said, then never mind. But... Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. You like to go... Yes. I'm like that guy Aww. from Sacramento. Uh, you know that mountain climber that he doesn't use any ropes? Yeah, <laughs> totally. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Wearing ropes is, is so gay. You know, yeah. Either you go up... <laughs> yeah. You don't want to have yeah. too much safety. That's right. Right. Nietzsche, Nietzsche, Nietzsche said live dangerously, well, I right? Yeah. I can't yeah. imagine... I mean, if you're going to do the old mouth down downtown to mm. be like, oh, there's a plastic guard there. It's yeah, like, what's the yeah, point? Yeah. It is silly. Yeah. But I did this medical study and they always check my blood. Um, <laughs> it, uh, only reason I qualify because it's completely clean. It's unbelievable. That is yeah. so, do you, you're a medical marvel. I mean, Why? when you think about. You have, you told me that you've been fucking prostitutes and or whatever, hooking doing things with them. I never get anything. That's what I'm saying. I know. How? It's like unbreakable. You know yeah, what I mean? So. Like, um, and then you're getting like crazy injections and pills and you're taking all kinds yeah, of crazy you're like a shit. Superhuman. And you're like, what's up? Let's go. Ready to go. You know, what's funny. Um, Rosie Tran keep asking me if I put hair, anything in my hair. Cause it's, she says it's dark. <gasps> wow. And, um, Jesus. Look at you. How old are you? I turned 50 in a few months. So, <sighs> It's got to be all the chemicals and stuff. I was losing Pets. hair. I'm not joking. I was losing hair three years ago. I don't know what, what I took. It's all that pussy you eat for sure. That's it's got to be the drug. Hooker pussy? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Hooker pussy makes your hair grow. <laughs> but my, my hair is <laughs> growing back. It doesn't make any sense because no. all my family males all lose hair by like late 40s, you know. You look great. <laughs> well, I'm coughing now. You're coughing. May I, may I ask you another question mm -hmm. about the prostitute thing? Do you do you do you have vaginal intercourse with them? Yeah, I mean, anal co costs more. Mm -hmm. And um, how much more? Hmm. It depends on the girl. Every everything's negotiable. But when I was in Athens, I was kind of shocked because this girl just let me put in her vagina without a condom. Mm -hmm. and, what? Uh, yeah, a hooker did. Yeah. It's Tom's dream. Oh, man. It was, no, I think it's just crazy. It's, like, it was just like, oh, okay. I'm not going to complain. And but, she was uh, like, you have 40 bucks, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was 20 euros. Oh, 20, 20 euros. euros. It's so cheap in Athens. Cool. No. And where did you meet this? There's a two area like where, um, so that there's a ghetto section in Athens where the hookers are 10 euros. That's like 12 $13. Jesus what Christ. The fuck? 
and the rich area is like 20 euros, right? Oh, yeah, and I, I don't know how many times I went to the 20 euros, like only Greeks only, and they'll kick me out because I'm not white Greek or something. Are you serious? I'm very serious. So you would go to the place and they'd be like, you got to get out of here. Yeah. Or they do this, this finger <gasps> thing, and then they told me leave. That means Asian? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my God. Well, the, si- <laughs> the sign language is, this is, this is Asian, I think. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Dude. It doesn't bother me. You know, that's a no, great... you're not very bothered by those types of no. jokes or things. M- people who usually like me comedy wise, they're white and drunk and slightly racist. Those are my sure. favorite. <laughs> sure. they're, they're my favorite audience. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, uh, yeah. Now, were the girls being like, get out of here? Or was it like, the... no, no, it's 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 in, in Athens. What's funny is my friend was re- working. Oh, it's not funny, but my friend was working at a refugee camp in Athens. Oh, Jesus. So I went there. There you go. AIDS, refugee camp. So I went there. Suicide. What else? I went, like I, w- I went there and, take uh, advantage of sex refugees. Offenders. I got you. <laughs> so he was working in refugee camps. I went there and like, you know, donate, buy food and give soccer for the kids or whatever. Fine. And during the day I was bored. It's so like, I wonder what's sex industry like in Athens. I wasn't expecting any. It's uh, pretty interesting. It's, um, there's so much ever since 10 years ago with the financial crisis, you know, um, unemployment is very high still. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, so like I go to prostitution, it's 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 very different. Like you, you see a girl that you like, the madam's there. Can I ask you this? Yeah. Uh, how do you start? Like when you're in Athens, you're like I want to. You start just asking around. Like are there? No, I just Google like red light district Google? Athens, and like okay. And I wasn't expecting, and there was one. So you said prostitutes, ma- yeah. madams there. Yeah. So uh, you go to this area, you go in, and uh, there's a madam, and she said they always say. They're like, oh, no, you, you know, I don't speak English. But they always say, like, uh, you know, fucking suck, da, 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 mm. normal sex, 20 euros or whatever. Okay. Then they bring the girl out, and um, then you say yes or no, and you, you don't want it, you just leave. But I, I, I was really, really shocked by Athens. The quality of girls are just unbelievable. Really? High quality. Are, it's just amazing are for these 20 euros. Greek girls or no. imports? They're like Russian, Polish. Yeah. Say, wow. You, you, I know. You, you, you're like a whore whisperer. Yeah. And, uh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, I tell you how I know because I when I was in the UAE, yeah, I this marine took us to a bar across from the hotel, and it was for I was in Dubai too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I was in Dubai. It was yeah. in Dubai, and um and and he goes, yeah, these are all prostitutes. I'm like, yeah. what? Because they were all like white, Polish, or East, Eastern blockers like me. Yeah. You know, not like me, but me, my tribe. And they all, that's how they, yeah. So that girl that you slept Different with, though. Yeah. Regions or whatever the hell. No, they're all great. I mean, you only have 10 minutes. You got to do your business oh, quick. Oh, see, that's how they turn. It's turnover. Yeah. Just like yeah. waiting tables. So they're fucking a lot. Yeah. May I ask you one question? Back yeah. to Frankfurt. So you're negotiating with a girl. Yeah. You go in and you're like, I would like to go down on you. Yeah. And then I want to have vaginal sex with you. Yeah. And she goes, okay, so what would that cost? Let's say, Yosh. Sometimes it's the same price. Other like time, 30 euro yeah or they will add more money and if you want bareback blowjob then they'll, they'll say like it's 50 or 100 or whatever and yeah. then and then so and then you go and i also want anal how much more is anal is what i'm wondering um once again depend on the girl but i think average probably 50 more or something 50 that seems fair to me i would pay 50 more back door 50 euro more we gotta go on a trip together man hey you want, where do you want to go? Where do you Excuse want to go? Excuse me. You want to go to, where should I go with you? Where should we go? You've got to do these Germany. hooker tours for people. You're you like go to Germany? a connoisseur now. Well, you know, people got mad because I was pitching this travel idea. And uh, originally, my travel show idea was start in South Africa. Uh-huh. I'm traveling all the way to Norway. And the only way I could move from one African country to another, I have to fuck one prostitute each time. Yeah. And you move up all the way. This is brilliant. N- Northern Africa. Yeah. And then uh, go around Middle East. You need and- to talk to my business manager after this show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's start the documentary. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? I love this. Idea. Africa. I maybe want to end in Africa. Well, you don't want to start in there anyway. <laughs> so, but so is the idea that you would spread everything throughout your whole journey? Your, your journey, like and you get HIV, and then you're like, I'll give it to everybody. <laughs> but I, I, I don't like these shows where the reporters say, "I'm in X, Y, and Z red light district," but I never had sex with them. Like, I don't want to fucking keep, listen to you. Wait, right. wait, Yoshi, do you know that it, it, that HIV is rampant in yes. South Africa? Okay. 
Yes. And it's even higher in Botswana, which would be your next stop. <laughs> yes. Right after. I'll wear a condom. Um, okay. Okay. But um, would you have sex with a knowingly HIV positive prostitute if they're like, oh, you just wear a condom? I was thinking about it. Really? No, I mean, I mean, I'm thinking it, about it. it. it if, if, if it's one of those weird situations, if you're going to. What's gonna, the weird situation? Yeah, well, if what? somebody say, we'll give you a million dollars to have sex with somebody with HIV. No, 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 that's an not the offer. Proposal. Yeah. The offer is just this, this girl's gorgeous. She's your type. But this little thing, she's got I mean, HIV. I mean, it wouldn't bother me if I'm getting blowjob from her. Okay. But the, the, you wouldn't the, even think about it. It's it's very difficult for men to get it from a woman though, unless she's bleeding out of her body. Mm-hmm. And I know. Um, Would you check for open sores or anything? Or? Yeah, I mean, I know it just sounds really weird thing to say, but yeah. I know a lot of people with HIV, and uh, I have this conversation with them. It's amazing, like people. Uh, a couple who are both HIV positive and they have a child and she's she or he is HIV negative. I don't understand it, yeah. but the mother nature have incredible ability to protect children. And I know plenty of people, I'm sorry, but I have news for you, America. Men with HIV with a lot of money, they're still having sex with women and they know they have uh, mm. HIV. So uh, that doesn't mean that- Like the Sheen, he was throwing yeah. that. Oh yeah. yeah. So. If you're careful, you could have intimate, meaningful relationship with somebody with HIV. You can, yeah. But uh, that's it's not fair. something that I actively look for. Someone. Let's right. talk about this money uh-huh. offer. So, you, um, you know, you do these medical tests for money. Yeah. If somebody were to offer you, yeah, ten thousand dollars. Okay. To give a man a blowjob. No. What about fifteen thousand? No, that's not cash. That's not, well, that's ridiculous. Oh, okay, but what why, about, why, I have higher why? self-esteem than that. Okay, how about forty grand? No, come on. Come it's got to be. I won't do it if it's a millions. A million? Millions. <laughs> Let's be. But wait a minute. Let's think this through, Yoshi. Because okay. how much do you get paid? This sounds like a trick. Okay, no, it's not, not at all. It's, it's very sincere. How much do you get paid? Let's say to do your medical testing, like to put yourself. What's a good one? Your body in good physical one. jeopardy, <laughs> and I mean like you're injecting yourself full of chemicals. Nobody knows the repercussions <sighs> of and such. I think I. Maybe I don't have the number right, but I think, I think I got twelve, fourteen grand for one month, but I couldn't leave for like one month. That's good and money. What What did you do? What did you have to do? They inject medication right into my stomach uh, <laughs> every other day, and I can't leave. And uh, uh-huh. and you know uh-huh. what I hate is it's a I'm, lot of scratch. I mean, I'm, though it's a lot of scratch. I'm used to needles. It it doesn't scare me. Yeah. But what I hate is some fucking rookie getting uh like internship getting chance to practice and like oh no because they don't like they don't put the needle in the right spot yeah. so they have to pull that out like almost like reverse parking in out uh, in uh, until they get the right Ugh. nerve you know jesus Aww. and like fuck you know and the, the experienced one will get in the first time everything's cool all right let's let's rephrase this okay let's say yeah for this proposal the guy's clean he's not diseased or anything okay you have to blow him for five minutes. Uh huh. Fifty thousand dollars cash. I wouldn't do that for that kind of money. Hold on. Does, okay. But you're not being if injected. He, if he him? comes, <laughs> you get another fifty grand cash. No. It's hundred thousand no, dollars. No. What? I don't want to do it. So it have to be. You know, sometimes um, somebody's offering you a job to you, and you you don't care. So only way uh, you might take is you make some ridiculous like demand. Yeah. So I'm this not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, in, I'm not into sucking dicks. You okay. know, I'm not against anyone doing it. I got you. All right. Would I you ever? See where you were on that. Would you ever be a prostitute, but for women? There's what? no way they'll be interested in me. That's not true. Hundred percent. That's not true. I got, uh, would you? You, you don't think there's women that are attracted no. to handsome uh, Asian men? They want somebody way younger than me. You look thirty. Yeah, I'm you could totally you. play a part. Crazy rich Asians, no. being Asian is yeah, very we'll put popular you in like right a now. <laughs> nice suit, put you yeah. in some glasses, and you could be like, "I'm a professor." I can't take that stuff seriously. I, I couldn't. Yeah. No. Oh, what's oh? So um, yes. Uh, Blue Band, our producer said he has a clip of you here from the last days of August. I guess this is oh, yeah. the podcast. So oh, did he found something? Yeah. So here's uh, Yoshi. Oh no, I don't want to hear on it on the podcast. Here it is. <laughs> I have not actually heard my voice in conversation <laughs> for nearly three years now. Wow, that's really—that's the behind the scenes. That's yes. behind wow. the scenes. Okay, 
Um, Thank you. Wow. <laughs> um, we also wanted to do this. So here's our game, okay? Okay. Um, definitely, uh, we're really excited about this. So here's the thing. We know that you, you know, you're like the porn whisperer. You're yeah, but guy. I've been out of it for seven years. Yeah, so. but I don't know. That knowledge never leaves your mind. So here's what we did. <laughs> we pulled oh, no. the audio of certain strong performers. And we wanted to see if whether you just listening to them for a clip, if you could identify who Oh, it is. no way. Of, really? Hey, hey. I thought that you might be able to do this. I have, thought you might be able to get 100%. Have confidence, okay. Yoshi. Okay. Well, you just listen and uh, we'll do the girls. Are you going to give me multiple choice or something? No, I'm no, just going to okay. say, can you tell by this audio? And I'm going to play this clip for you. Okay. And we'll just let you guess. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Here's clip one. Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh my God. Now, are these people before 2012? Uh, no, this person's still after. This person, but this person has been in the business probably. Now we're for asking a while. about the female voice. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, you don't know who that is. They're all current. They're current, but I mean, like, they're not like brand new. If uh, would you like to hear the audio again? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Oh fuck! Yes. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm really digging for that. I see that. I see your mind working. Now, does that sound vaginal or anal to you? <laughs> Is she faking it? Good question. Can't she, fake anal. She sounds familiar, but... Yeah. Hmm. Take a wild guess. Who do you think that is? I don't know. Riley Reed? Yes. <gasps> it is? Yes. No, is you're right. joking. That's Riley Reed. What? Are you no kidding? way! You you're got making, it right. You're making that up. I'm not making no, it up. No, you who won. It was. We have the the picture right there to oh go with it. Oh my god! When, when when I heard it first, take us through. Yeah, her face popped in my head for some reason, but I haven't seen her shit in like 2012. But I don't that's think. how connected you wow. are. Wow! No, but that's that's a wild guess. Let's that's be not so wild. Away. That's a wild, perfect guess. Yoshi is one for one. Let's go to wow. uh, number two here. <laughs> That was really something. Let's see if you can tell. What who. a gift. Are you sure you're not making that up? I no. swear to okay. you. Here's number two. You ready? Close those eyes. It is. Okay. <laughs> I'm Here we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Huh. I'm going to guess vaginal on that one, too. I think so, too. I think you're sure. right about that. So, can you play it again? Yeah, mm -hmm. with, with pleasure. It's like, it's like, a... <laughs> oh, fuck. man, if you get this one, please. I don't know why, but she sounds really tiny girl. Uh huh. Oh, I like his, you're, you're in the right place. Walk us through it. This is like, almost like, um, oh, <sighs> Go ahead, Yoshi. Look at Walk Look us at his through mind your thinking. Working. It's very passive. I've heard this person too. That's the sad part. He's very quiet right yeah, now. Yeah, he knows. Very focused. It's like a porn spilling bee. Um, yeah, it is. Would you like to hear the audio one more time? Sure. Wow. This is really something. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I heard this one. He's really. He's um, digging in he's the digging vaults. through. <laughs> Can you give me a tip? What's the letter of the first name? You want a uh, first letter? Yeah. Well, it's not really in the. Um, but I'll yes, I'll tell you. It starts with the letter K. K. Oh. <sighs> fuck. Look at his mind. He's really digging. I, I've never seen Yoshi this focused before. I'm probably wrong, but Christina Rose? It's not it. No, I'm uh, sorry. It's Carly Gray. Oh, I think that's bef after my time. After okay. your time. Hey, look, you got your first one right out the gate, though. Yeah, you're just, you're yeah, one I, and one. I, I'm, if you could check IMDb, I'm pretty sure I've never seen her. Oh, really? Well, I don't, I don't recognize that name. Do you want to try the next one? See sure. if you can get this one? Okay, let's see if you know this one here. Listen, you're still... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Wow. 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 Is she a big wow. girl? No. Interesting. <laughs> no, I don't think but so. But you're no, right. No, 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 no. no, no let's let's talk me through fat, it. Not fat, but... But because you can hear the the bed squeaking, you're thinking that maybe she weighs a bit more. No, 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 no. Not, I mean, when I say big, means she's taller. Uh, right, oh. stature. Can you play it again? Sure. Sure. Why not? Please. <laughs> okay, that yeah. sounds anal to me. I don't know. It's pretty good. I don't think I've ever heard of this person. Um, you sure this is pretty new or old? Um, I, that I wouldn't. I mean, I don't think she's old. Right. No, no, no. Relatively no, like, new. Relatively. Oh, I don't know anything. I don't really pay attention since 2012, so. Wow. Well, what, what's the first letter? Just guess. It starts Just with guess. the letter J. J. And relatively new. Relatively new. One last hint. Please. <laughs> it sounds, well, let's just think through, though. It sounds like it's painful. Right. It, it sounds a little anal. It sounds like aggressive. Yes. Start with a J. Does she have a secondary name? Like, you know how the first is. Um, Let's, can we give him a little hint? Oh, 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 please. Starts with the letter J. She, J. I've got a clue yep. from Blue Band. Mm. Did no? This is from, okay, never mind. No. J. Um, I can't even think any porn girl with the name J right now. Um, just see who who's in your mind. First name. There's a lot of J's out there. Only name popped up is Ariana Jolie, but that that's not her. That's not her. No, you knew that. It's it's Janice Griffith. Oh yeah, that's another new girl. Another new girl. Yeah. The, the, sorry, well, I'm, I'm slipping because I. Those. It's okay, but there's a chance you could finish fifty fifty here because this last girl is not new. Okay. okay. She's been in the business. That's what I'm being told. Okay. Um here so i'll give you the, the the audio okay and you can tell me if you can get this one all right i would love for you to go two and two okay here we go oh my god oh my god wow that was beautiful huh I'm completely clueless. Can you play it again? Sorry. Sure. She's very loud. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's vaginal. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. I gotta take a hand. What is a letter? Uh, a again, a J. Oh my god. And she's been around. Yeah. I'll give you the last name initial too. Okay. R. No. Um. No. No guess. No. There it is. Oh, she was around my time. Jessa that, that, Rhodes. There's no. There's no excuse for that one. There's no excuse for you. We're deeply disappointed, but luckily for you, the other two, I'm. I think they're new. They're let's old. play the same game with men. Oh no. So <laughs> here we go. Huh. Uh, somebody that you should definitely know. Are you ready for it to listen? Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. 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 Turn my head oh. down. Oh. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> that was a great clip. Look at. Yes. I think Yoshi knows. He's digging through that wall. Well, God, I can't even tell if it's a white or black. I, I, I would assume it's a white guy. Good. Yes. European. Negative. Oh, why? White America. I mean, there. How oh, 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 God. Oh, 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 yeah, you can hear when he sounds does older. That, he when sounds he does that Ameri uh, the, He does that. Oh, yeah. You can hear that he's American, you know? Um, he sounds old guy. Is he big? No, he doesn't. He's not old. No? He's not no? old. Okay. No. All right. He's white, mm -hmm. American, mm -hmm. but not old. Right. But you definitely would know who it is. He's not old. He's not old. Not super young either. Not super young. 
Man, look at that. Look at those words. Yeah, it's like that. we're asking for a I know. quantum physics <laughs> Shoot, stop it. equation or something. I don't know. Why? Go ahead and take a swing at it. Tell us who you think. Let them guess. Don't show them yet. Let them guess. Well, just give us the first thought. Yeah. The ocean. I don't know why James Dean popped up. I don't think well, I'd Let's see. Him. Let's reveal. Who is it? You kidding wow. me? No. No, you're making that up. No. no. Fantastic. It is. You got it right. It so it didn't, far. It didn't, it didn't sound right to me because it kind of sound he it would sound like a somebody really old like well, Ron Jeremy. It sounded like he was having a passionate moment. And sometimes <laughs> your voice will change when that happens. I'm a little taken back by that. Yeah. yeah. But guess what? You nailed it. Wow. I'm usually good about showing me dick and if it is, but sound, I don't know about that. You, I can show you a dick and you'll know who it is? You, well, I mean, prior to 2012, yes. But. Really? You just knew them like that? <laughs> right I mean, I the see them nine, ten hours a day, you yeah, know, so yeah. come on. Right, you're saying as an editor, wow, this seen, is you, yeah. Good so job. you're not giving me like a retarded help right here. This is no, no it's no, really, really and, wow. Just to be clear, I'm really surprised. I don't know why he's. Use okay. the R1. Oops, my bad. You, I just had to make that clear for everybody. <laughs> you use the R one. Okay, <laughs> so uh, hi, mom. <laughs> I am so amazed. Yeah, he knew. You got. You want to try the next one? Yeah. Okay, let's see if you can get this one. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, jerky, jerky, jerky. oh my god. Oh. Oh no! Yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Is this six-time male performer year, Manuel Ferreira? No. Oh no! Play it again. Play it. Don't. Oh, don't show. Oh, oh that's right. It. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Bill Bailey. Oh. Did you know that? Did you know Bill Bailey's work? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Sorry. Would he have been in your guessing trove or no? No. No. Okay. Well, there's one more. Don't show them. Let's see. Uh, let's see if you can get the last one. Okay. Oops. Let's see here. Here we go. Good girl. Oh, mother. Fuck her. Play that again. Uh, really? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my Oh, Jesus. oh, mother fucker. Why don't you begog like that? I can work on it. Wait. It's really dramatic. I need help on this one. Is this person American or European? Man. Oof. Sounds like an American. I'm going to go American. Yeah. 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 Blue band says. Yeah, Potter says American. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. White yeah. or black? Oh, it looks like white. white. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna Wait, guess. Wait, play it again. Sorry, I really apologize. I'm probably no. not gonna get it right. Not again. God. Uh, <sighs> oh, mother. <sighs> fucker. It's definitely a white guy. Yeah. Mother. Fucker. Any guess? Wild guess? Hmm. Well, who's well, last? Who's? Last guess. Is this a really big guy or a little little white dude? Kinda tiny. Who, who's in your mind? I'm probably wrong. Tommy, Ooh. Tommy Pistol. Hmm. No. Oh. Oh. Br Brian Gosling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I like oh, Brian oh, so Gosling. We're gonna get it. First of all, I haven't watched anything by him. Okay. So I don't know him, but um, <laughs> he's got "Don't Care" tattooed it on his hands. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like that. He's, Cool. I'm surprised. Oh, I saw them. The job stopper. I'm yeah. surprised he works because he. I don't know a lot about him, but he's really pushing it. Pushing it. Pushing it. How so? Wow. I don't know what you're mean. Um, there's no way I would have guessed him because I don't want your stuff. But right. uh, what I what I've been hearing from people is, uh, they call him like, wanna be Max Hardcore type of movies. Oh, he's he's really pushing the women. Yeah. Aggressive. Aggressive and like, there was always talk like it's it might be a little problematic for studio to carry his product because really he he pushed to the point where you might get invitation from the government and things like that. Oh wow! What? what? Really? Well, I mean that's the rumor, you know. And about uh, this guy? Yeah, I I might have seen some one a couple of things. I didn't really care for his stuff, but um, okay. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to humiliate the girl. Yeah. To have a have a nice scene, you know. Right, because that sounded very aggressive. 
I, I didn't like the sound of it. Sounds his. like this guy's kind of having hardcore fun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like when I used to listen, because, you know, of course I'm comic first, but when I'm, when they tell me stuff like they grab the girl's head, mm -hmm. put it down the toilet, flush the toilet, and they all, yeah. all, all the guys like, that's hot. Like, I don't like that one. <laughs> God, I'm, I'm I'm talking to myself like, guys, it's okay to like the girl. Yeah. You don't you don't have to do that shit. You know. Yeah, that's kind of my my problem with some of the pornography today too. Like, I don't really like the aggressive stuff. If it doesn't feel consensual, it's not exciting. Yeah, and like, and, and I think this is something you'll hear in that podcast uh, last day of August. Sometimes girls, are, I gotta be careful because it, I'm trying I'm trying to be fair with them, but. If your chick depends on you having a good time or pretending you had a good time, right? You know you're gonna pretend like everything's cool. Yeah. yeah. Yoshi, can I ask you something off uh -huh. base? What did you have for breakfast today? Why? Oh, I'm um, just curious. I had. What did I have? What have you eaten today? I had orange banana yogurt and uh, toast. Oh, that's okay. pretty good breakfast. That's not bad. Yeah. Is this a trick question? No, I'm no. just curious about you. Do you watch television shows? Yes, I do. What do you watch? Um, I like, I just saw True Detective season three. How is it? Fantastic. It is? It went back to the classic form of season one. Highly yeah. recommended. Okay, I'm going to watch it. It's, it's great. Um, Tom, you'll love the documentary on Ted, uh, yeah, Ted Bundy. No. He tried watching it in bed the other night and I strictly know. I just stuck away I and watched a couple episodes. You did? Yeah, I've, wa I've watched a few episodes. When I was uh, asleep? I oh. loved it. And yeah. Because I used to live in Tacoma, Washington, and oh, my, no. my uncle... A lot is, of people still think he did it. It's bullshit, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. <coughs> and uh, I used to live in Tacoma, Washington. My uncle used to be attorney there, so I have to go downtown and deliver documents to the court and sometimes have to deliver divorce paper, which is not fun. No. But somebody told me his mother still lives in Tacoma, Washington. So this Bundy's? is... Bundy's? Really yeah, yeah, the early 90s, maybe late 80s or early 90s. So whenever I had to deliver stuff, I used to drive her neighborhood, kind of see. I saw her once walking out of the house. So mm, Cool. Say hi. It's creepy. It's like, get the yeah. fuck I just drove out of there. They don't have, you know, what's, what's, uh, they don't have on the documentary. I haven't finished it. But the it's great. Because they, they have it from when that, when that journalist interviewed him, and it was in, yeah. in 80. You know, so it's like going into trial stuff, sure. like still appealing. But in 89, right before they executed him, when he sure. realized the appeals were all, yeah, he, he told them stories like in the in the in the documentary, he's doing this like, what if like yeah. the OJ style thing? <laughs> like if I did it, oh he's speaking in hypothetical terms. They were able to convince him to talk about it finally as third person as third person. Yeah. Right? But in 89. He when actually, he re realized um, I'm about to be executed, right? Yeah, he did the worst thing because, you know, I understand why there's so many serial killers up in Pacific Northwest because you're almost running out of the place to run. You're in the very corner of it, <clears throat> and um, and you know, there's tons of them over there. And I think when he was fleeing from all the murders in Utah and Colorado and um, Washington so State, so many, he went other extreme to Florida, but Florida it's like big on capital punishment. So he made a mistake. And what's crazy, because he has a legal training. Yeah, he's smart. He had an option to just accept life sentence and he would have been, you know, but he, I think he was delusional. He, he yeah. really thought he could. Super narcissist, yeah. And get out of it, so. He uh, really was like the ultimate narcissist. Yeah. Who yeah. would you rather have hung out with? <laughs> Ted Bundy. Or, <laughs> who's will Yoshi. <laughs> oh, thanks, yeah. <laughs> well, you thanks. two are like psychopath buddies. Who? You and Yosh. I, I can't I've, tell who's I, I, a bigger psycho. I, no, no, Tom, I, to, I told Christina before the show, last year and a half, people <laughs> keep asking me, who's bigger sociopath or psycho, you or Tom? I'm not joking. <laughs> the fuck, that man? Makes sense. Yeah, Birds you, of a feather. I beat up my stepmother and everybody think I'm a psycho now. Yeah, and, uh, well, she yeah. deserved it, though. Yeah. She was a bitch. She had that coming, though. Yeah. From what I understand. Yeah. But Tom's not a psycho or sociopath. Yeah, we'll see. He hasn't hurt anybody yet, but the the inclinations there, you know. Fair enough. Are you getting still big trouble for saying the word retard during the show? No, no, I'm not. You use the R word. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
I am not. Do you, Good. Yoshi? Is where do you sleep? Fine. How do you sleep? Do you sleep at night? It's it's tough. Yeah. It's tough to sleep. Yeah, I I do that. Uh, wow, you're are you you're up very late? perceptive. I'm just trying to figure out what your what your day to day life yeah, is. Yeah, what's like? Uh, where what's do Yoshi you sleep? Like, like? What are you What are you eating? Are you brushing your teeth twice a day? Yeah. Um, one of the I don't remember which podcast I said I need a place to stay, and my friend Ram Ram. Uh, you know, my friend, well, he's from now, but uh, hey, you could stay here for a couple of days, ended up being like four years. So that ended last July. So a lot of couch surfing, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's it's really weird because in a way, I have so much freedom because as soon as I make money in medical testing, I go overseas, do shows in like Scandinavia, London. I mean, I don't make a lot of money, but I travel a lot and... Um, I don't really worry about saying something horrible to somebody because I don't have to worry about people suing me because I have no money to sue, you know? Good for you. In, in a really weird way, um, a lot of my friends with a lot of money and homes and family, I guess I'm, I'm envious of them sometimes because it's nice to have right, but, but family and Christmas hang out with sure, your kids. Sure, but you're or saying you're free and, and there's a certain joy in, in freedom too. Yeah. In being well, untethered to those things. Yeah. And, sure. Um, you know, sometimes I'll say, I want to go go to another city to do something. They'll send me money. And like, this guy sent me a couple hundred bucks because I say I want to go Denver in April because um, it's the 20th anniversary of Columbine shooting. So I want to be, I want to go there. For, Somebody, the, uh, for the anniversary? Yeah. So mm -hmm. whenever I... I, I, I was, Sounds like a cool trip. Whenever, <laughs> whenever I plan a trip, I don't want to go right. use your touristy place. You know, right. like... What, what would you do the, the on, on the anniversary, though? Um, I got I, I to gotta be careful. Don't misinterpret what I'm saying. Uh -huh. But I'm helping my friend Alex Meyer. She's a writer in England. I'm helping him with a project. It had something to do with mass shooting mm -hmm. so i'm working on project so last 15 years whenever there's a shooting in some gig i'm going there just happened to be shooting i'll go and visit sandy hook or when i was in Denver. You'll, and you'll what report on it to her like I'm, I'm just kind of curious to check out what what was the scenario read up on it <clears throat> when i was in denver last year i i went to see new england patriots play the broncos so i was there so i went to uh john benet ramsey's home i went to <laughs> columbine shooting I went to the Aurora Snow Theater, uh, Aurora Movie Theater, but most important, I went to Greeley, Colorado, the, 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 the very place where modern terrorism started. So I went there and check it out. Uh, where? Greeley? Colorado, yeah. Which is the location of what? What happened was there was this mullah, uh, this political dissident from Egypt. He was, um, they were trying to get him in Egypt, so he fled. He was visiting the United States in the 50s, and... Um, he was so offended by young people dancing with each other in Greeley, Colorado, and uh, he became, <coughs> he hated America because of that pop culture and things like that. So he wrote his experience living in the United States in Greeley, Colorado, mm -hmm. and he became the father of modern terrorism. He's the figurehead right. for Al-Qaeda, Egyptian Brotherhood, ISIS, and things like Shh, that. Let's not say that stuff on okay. the show, okay? Okay. It's not welcome any of you. You are completely retarded. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, anyway, I was it there for that. Well, that sounds sounds like lovely. a real good time. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> is there anywhere you have dates coming up? Yeah, where can people yeah, find where can you? Yeah. People Yosh? see you anywhere? Um, I'm doing a show in Brooklyn uh, at the plat for platform this Saturday, 8:30 <clears> p.m. Oh. 1170 at Bushwick Avenue. This is when? This Saturday? This Saturday. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go and, see Yoshi. Yes. And. Um, I don't want to put you in the spot, but it would be cool if I could do guest spot one of your shows. Um, I'll be around, but um, that you, you're doing. Where will yeah? yeah you just where? have to let us know when you're in what town. Yeah, well, that? when you're doing Tempe and when you're doing Vegas. Tempe. That, um, that's those two shows are between my okay, birthday. We'll see. Oh, can we uh, maybe get some prostitutes in Vegas or something? Hey. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Jeez. anybody, oh, and the uh, last days of August is on audible. <laughs> it's also going to be available to the general public in April, in April. Pandemic is available in Showtime right now. Okay. 
And uh, I'm looking for female comedians if they want to work at Sunny Acres for that show. <laughs> Wonderful. Call to action there. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, hmm. um, Good luck. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of women that want to do is that. that, that that's that, okay? Yoshi, thank you for stopping by. Can yes. I do Sorry. I'm yeah. going to be in Boston Sunday, so if, if there's a place I could watch the Super Bowl, let me know. And then I want to... Fantastic. I want to thank my friend uh, Mari, Ravi, Chris, Evo, Angel. They were very kind to me, and it's nice that they're... And where can somebody let you know? On Twitter? Yeah, Yoshi Obayashi oh, at Twitter, we, Instagram. May, maybe uh, slow that down. Yoshi... Obayashi. You want to spell that for the Americans oh, listening? I'm sorry. Y-O-S-H-I-O... Be as in boy, A-Y-A-S-H-I, at uh, Twitter and um, Instagram. And I um, want to thank my friend Johnny Darko, Evil Angel. They're, they're very, very kind. Johnny Darko. Yeah. Yeah. And Adrian Chichuk. All right. You know, right. it's so lovely. I'm so, you seem happy, and, and I'm glad things are going well for you, doing all these projects. And thank you for coming back. Yeah, it's, thanks. But, but your fans are great. I'm not joking. They're very, they very. They're great. They're, I agree. They're always donating money to you know they don't need to but very nice thanks Good. guys it's great to see you yoshi all right guys thank you we'll be back to getting physical after this quick break <laughs> so excited to bring back the og <laughs> producer a podcast originator a pioneer uh-huh. if you will the one and only Red Band. Yay! Yay. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Hi, Jean. Mommy. I missed you. Oh, my God. I, I miss you so you. much. Oh. I love you so much because I feel like you're so juvenile and that you and I laugh, and, and Tom, too, but I don't know. I like your, your sensibility. You're so juvenile. You're the only guys that I don't feel bad talking about poop and stuff with. Yeah. Like, you don't make me feel bad. You shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we were talking earlier in the, uh, in the conference room about the Seinfeld thing. I think you guys are yeah. the only ones that really, like, oh, we love we're on story. my side about that comedy well, now, story. For thing. people that don't know, yeah. uh, Seinfeld had not been to the comedy store in, like, 30 years. <laughs> and so he came to town. He was out to dinner with Sebastian. Because they're buddies. Right. And Sebastian was like, do you want to do a spot? Like, you want to stop in the store? And Seinfeld was like, all right. So Sebastian calls the club <laughs> and is like, Seinfeld's coming. And they're, you know, of course, flipping out. Jerry Seinfeld pops in, does a spot, an unannounced spot. Yeah. Place goes bananas. And then Seinfeld's like, I'll do a little Q&A up here. People start asking, you know, <laughs> the most famous comedian of our time, all these questions. And then <laughs> Brian. Yeah. Well, all the questions people were asking and like, what's your favorite kind of socks? You know, like, oh, I like white oh. socks. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. Shit like that. And then uh, people around me were like, dude, somebody asked something crazy. Yeah. And I was kind of buzzed. I mean, this was like one in the morning. Yeah. And uh, I was like, all right, fine. And so I I go, hey, Jerry, uh, do you wipe your butt standing or sitting down? And he goes, what? What'd you say about my wife? You know, like, like he couldn't uh, hear me. Uh-huh. And then I go, I yell it again. And he goes, I'm right next to you. You don't have to yell. And I'm like, well, uh-huh. you're not hearing yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. And then finally I said it like the third time. And he goes, oh, I wipe standing up, of course. And then I walk around. Oh. Like, <laughs> but like, you, like all, everyone, like Sebastian, like I think like everyone at the comedy store that worked there was so upset with me. Like, <laughs> really? Like yeah. why are you asking Jerry? Yeah, well, I can't believe you're asking. But didn't he Jerry. wrap it up after your question? Uh, no, there was like one or two more questions. Right, no, okay. But what was great is somebody recorded it uh, and <laughs> sent it to me the next day. I have it somewhere in like an email somewhere. And That's fantastic. it's so funny. Dude. But I mean, you have to know as a ex- big comedian that offering to take questions from the audience is a loaded weapon. Right. You know, you're going to get a wild card. You know, someone's going to try to. Do you like that? You. Do you like Q&As? No. No. Yeah. Not really. Do you? No. Do you? No, I never. I don't. I did. I did one as part of a, uh, you know, an organized Q&A um, in Toronto at the festival there where they interview you and then the audience is allowed to ask questions. No, I'm not into it. Yeah. yeah. I always feel that when comics do that Q&A in like the middle of the sets, they just don't have material. So they're kind of just like, oh, let's just do <laughs> something else. Oh, that's definitely. Yeah. That. yeah. Well, had Seinfeld done material? Yeah, he did, right? He did. And then yeah, after. It, it was, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. But Why you're doesn't that... she tug on my balls? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I at mean, least we know the answer. I think that's kind of cool. You know, like yeah. he wipes his butt standing up that, you know, a lot yeah. of people don't do that. No. And you got no, that. I don't. You got that out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Great work. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's right, be awarded, not yeah, yeah. disciplined. <laughs> well, 
Well, I don't know. I, I think the the more I... I mean, this is probably going to be horrible and you're probably going to hate me for saying this. Yeah. But I, I feel like the older I get and the more I realize we're all just humans, the less hero worship I have and the more I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Like, I don't... Who's going to get upset about I that? I feel like... Because I feel like you're a little... More, you would be more respectful towards Seinfeld. Like, I think that's really funny and I'd be like, yeah, he's just a comic. Like... Not that he's not very talented and super awesome, obviously, mm -hmm. but I don't, I mean, why were people upset with you is what I'm trying to understand. Because it's immature. I talked about poop. Yeah. I'm a comic and I'm like, you know, I'm almost like heckling and like, it's Jerry and they're, they're putting him on like a high right. pedestal. Now I probably, no, I would, I guess I would do Steve Martin. Like I want to know that answer with Steve oh, Martin, you know, Martin. but would yeah. I do it to Steve Martin? Probably not. Like I'd probably be like, <laughs> maybe if it's in the hallway or something, you know, I'm not going to yell. You're going to ask him in the hallway. Uh, hey, Steve, <laughs> real quick. He's like, What's that, buddy? Do you wipe standing up or sitting down? He'd be like, hmm. like, I feel okay. like you're more respectful than I am in that regard. In that regard. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's interesting. I'm trying to think of like, I don't, I, an example doesn't come to mind, you know? But, yeah. Like would I don't, you have I don't, asked that question to Jerry Seinfeld? I would not have had the balls to. No, I but if I were in the same room as that when it happened as you, I would have laughed really hard. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's a fucking good one. <laughs> <laughs> I just like me. But I'm also the kind that laughed at the class clown. Uh, you know, I, there was a guy from Tennessee who farted at, during one of my lectures at, when I was studying at Oxford. <laughs> and nobody laughed except for me and like two other people. One of the and professors like, funny. farted? No, no, no. So we were in a lecture and yeah. this guy from Tennessee, a friend of mine next to me, he goes, hey, Christina, you dare me to fart? And I was like, fuck, yeah, dude. And he ripped one in the middle of this lecture. It was loud. And it was loud and it, it reverberated off the plastic chair. Yeah, yeah. And like only like a handful of people laughed and everyone else just ignored it. And I was like, how, how are we not going to laugh? Yeah, I mean, I think you got to laugh at that in that case. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. A guy farting during a lecture. Yeah. yeah. Everyone has to laugh at that. Yeah. If you don't laugh at that, you something's wrong with you, yeah. right? Yeah, you're like British or something. Right. Yeah. yeah. I've dated a girl, though, that was against farts and against oh, poop. No. And like my girlfriend now loves it. It's her favorite thing when I <laughs> fart. Like she doesn't get gross. favorite out. thing. Like she thinks it's hilarious. Like, uh, like if we're spooning and I fart on her crotch, you know, she's laughing her ass off instead of like most girls. I'd be like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. You know, like shit like that. Like, <laughs> Sounds like so marriage we, we saw a girl who um, would eat the farts. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I know a girl in uh, Orange County that that's just does <laughs> fart porn and fart stuff. You really? know a girl. Yeah, I met her at Avian like three years ago. And I was just going, they have like all these booths yeah. in Vegas, like the adult video awards, whatever. And she had fart porn. And like, uh, I forget her name, but. Uh, God bless her. I, but yeah, and that's all she does is farts. And like, like uh, yeah. farts while sex, like farting, dirty panty farts. Yeah, yeah, it's a real lane. That is that is a, a, a lane. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, you're doing it already. Why not get paid for it? Right. There's there's a market there, too. I don't understand why people don't think that. Because, like, poop emoji is one of the biggest things in the world right now. Like, if I, I went to the grocery store, wow. and they were selling poop emoji, like, uh, uh, stuffed animal type thing. Sure, we have a pillow at our house, a yeah. poop emoji. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's ridiculous that my mom is going to a grocery store and seeing poop everywhere. Yeah. Like, that's, I think that's yeah. great. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> Take yeah, that stigma away. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, your girlfriend, how long have you been together? Uh, three years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you think you will get married one oh, yeah, day? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're not in a rush, though. There's no reason to do it. Like, but yeah, definitely. Just fucking fart on these fucking Swiss cakes. Eat them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Sounds like we're maturing a little. Uh, well, you, you're going to marry her? Fuck yeah. Yeah. She, I, like, I like that answer. Wow. She's like, she's. we haven't even had her first fight yet, you know, in three years. I've never dated anyone where we haven't like gotten fights like at least once a month, you know, or sure. something like that. What does she think of your, uh, you know, your dating, your ex-girlfriends? Is she? Well, that's the best thing about her because I met her and she was kind of a fan. Like uh, she's seen every single Rogan podcast, every single Your Mom's House, Death Squad. Like she knew me uh, through, through Death Squad. Through and through. Yeah. And then I met her, and when we first started meeting, like I was like kind of nervous, to, like about my past, you know. And she goes, "Oh, I know everything about you." And I'm like, "That's <laughs> right, you do know everything about yeah. me, like everything about me, more than people that I've been friends with for ten years, you know." Do you ever think about what a wow. remarkable, like, what a remarkable journey and story yours is? How how crazy it is where you are, like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh yeah. I mean, because I because from what I remember, like, wasn't it that you had met Stanhope? And you were doing some like vlogging or something for him? Yeah, or? I uh, I met 
Stanhope first before Rogan, I believe. Yeah. And I used to do his website. I designed his website, and then you're living still in Ohio. In Ohio, yeah. yeah. This was just me because I, I learned I learned how to do websites like the first year AOL came out. You know. Or, okay. And, Whoa. And no one knew how to make websites back then. You know. How and old so, were you? Just to uh, put it in perspective. This was probably when I was like 25, 24, mm-hmm. maybe less earlier than that, and. uh yeah, so I would like reach out to people I like, like Doug Stanhope and Rogan, and like, hey, you know, if I can help you in any way. Uh, and so I would go to shows and film Doug Stanhope and make little videos for him. Which you're really good at. Yeah. That and is. This, and this was before YouTube, though. Like, no, yeah, I know, but I've seen like your editing rhythm and tone and choices. Thanks. It's very, you're, you, you have a skill, man. Thanks, man. But yeah. yeah, and so back then you didn't have like, videos on your website like it was unheard of because right. everyone had modems so i was really good at shrinking videos to really small so you could have them on websites so i did it for uh stan Hope, and then rogan saw him and was like i want you to do my videos you know so then rogan started flying me out and then one day you know rogan just hired me and moved me out to california to do it full time so, yeah the so, videos at first yeah, videos yeah. so you do a few of them and he's like this is good yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and it was great because you, you, i don't know if you remember the story i was working at gateway computers at the time and when I got, when Rogan hired me, I had to put my two week notice in mm. and I was like, Hey, you know, can I talk to you? I need to talk to you to my general manager. And he goes, you know, actually I need to talk to you also. I'm like, Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> and he goes, uh, uh, gateway's closing. So, uh, here's a severance package. Here's $3,000. <gasps> and like, I'm like, he's like, what do you want to talk about? Uh, nothing. You know, <laughs> it was just how it lined up. It was really like magic. Wow. It was magical, you know? And then, uh, moved out here with a girl I dated for 11 years, you know? And then, uh, what? yeah, I was engaged. And then, uh, you know, it, it was weird. Like, I, you, you know that, right? Like, No, I know. I, I didn't know you prior to, like, I only knew L.A. Red Band. Well, I don't it, know your this history. Is, this is actually really funny. So I moved out with this girl, and, you know, we've been dating so long. She moved to California with me. She started giving me an ultimatum. Like, hey, you know, we've been dating 10 years. we got to get married. I'm, you know. Right, because in Ohio years, that's like a lifetime. Yeah, like, yeah. You need to have children. Kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Rogan was so anti-marriage. Yeah. He wasn't married. He didn't, you know, like he was against marriage. So I had to hide my... He probably had like bits about oh, it. Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah. All his wow. bits. And about having kids. We don't need any more kids. You know, go on the free, <laughs> go on the 405 at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. It's, it's, uh, do you need duplicates? You know, he used to have... Like all his whole material was about not getting married and having kids. Oh, how funny! And uh, so I had to hide it, and then we ended up breaking up because she's like, "So funny." Dude. She's like, "I know you're hiding it from Rogan. Like you're not. <laughs> you're, you're, you're like ashamed." And 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 then like how I got how we got engaged was embarrassing. Like because like she knew it was coming, so I wanted to try to like hide it so she didn't like was surprised because she knew i was going to ask her to marry me or marry you know at any moment did you put it in your butt no it's more embarrassing <laughs> yeah. i went to a pf chang we went to pf chang's i was just like you know Aww. any any time <laughs> like I, she's not going to expect it if we're just going to pf chang's right uh-huh. and so i'm in the car and we're about to go inside i'm like hey you want a piece of gum and she goes no we're about to eat and i'm like no no you want a piece of gum right and she goes no uh, let's go and then i'm like will you marry me like in the car Aww. in the parking lot of pf chang's and she's like Real? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, and then there was like an hour wait, and so she's like Aww. crying in the waiting. Uh, <laughs> I got like, the engagement. You want some egg rolls? Right. Yeah. <laughs> My boyfriend popped the question in the P.F. Chang's parking lot. How yeah. romantic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I was what a nightmare. Of romance. I was just thinking of like shocking her. So she, uh, when you break up, so you, the engagement ends, mm-hmm. do you get that ring back? Usually you don't, oh, but she gave it back to me. It's and, a nice girl. And yeah, but except that, like, you know, I had to borrow all this money to buy it. I was making, when I first moved out here, I wasn't really making any money at all. And I was yeah. living in Calabasas because I was like, Joe, where should I move? He goes, you don't really like Calabasas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Single, like, so young Kim guy. Kim Kardashian, you know? Yeah. And so, uh, and then when I gave it to my mom, she's like, I'm like, mom, you know, I got the ring back and you hold it. Cause I, I think I'll lose it. Did you ask your mom if she would marry you? No, no, oh. <laughs> I should have done that. That would have been uh, good. good boobs. But, uh, <laughs> then my mom's house got broken into like a year later and they stole the ring. So oh, oh, fuck man. Yeah. Fuck. So you're doing that. You're doing like kind of, uh, website stuff with him. And then you don't, you suggest the podcast. Well, or how does that work? Well, we were really into doing this thing called Justin TV uh, back in the yes. day before you used no before it's Twitch now. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. uh, and they reached out to us and go, hey, we got this new thing where you could like stream live video. And I was like, this is sweet. So I used to put the laptop in the green room to try to get Joe and Joey Diaz to like talk on it and stuff mm. like that. And Joe was kind of into it. Like he liked it. Joey Diaz hated it. though. Like like one time Joey 
bent my finger backwards. He's like, turn that fucking thing off. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. You know, like he hated it for some reason. And then like me and Rogan were like, we should just like do this, like, you know, like once a week at, at, at Joe's house. And so we did it like three or four times. And then people are like, you should like make this a podcast. And so we just started taking the audio from like these Ustream videos and mm-hmm. putting, making them podcasts. And then like after like episode 10, we're like, we should invest in microphones and like, like yeah, mixers. Yeah. So like every week we'd buy new equipment. So yeah. That's why like if the first maybe 30 episodes every week sounded different. Yeah. And I had no idea how to do audio shit. I mean, <laughs> I'm definitely on one of the wow. first 10. I yeah. Know. Yeah. And I, I remember, remember was... sitting on that um, couch in his office. Hey, do you remember you were with us in San Francisco when we did one of the live streams in the green room, I think. Probably. Yeah. Like the first time Jesus. I met you. Yeah. What yeah. year is this? Uh, like oh nine. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I remember, um, I remember sitting on Joe's couch. And I always tell him because uh, he'd be like, "Come on, sit forward, man." I was like, "My back hurts." Man. <laughs> you know, because you have to like lean. Yeah. yeah. And I wanted to sit back. Right. And then I was like, I remember walking. I would walk out with Brian. I'd be like, "What the fuck was that?" <laughs> yeah. And it feels weird. Like, why are we? Why are you guys doing this? <laughs> And it was so weird. It's foreign. Yeah, he's right? like, ah, yeah, it's, you know, just I go, are people listening to this? And he's like, yeah, I think so, yeah, because it was just starting, you right? Know? But it, it it went fast though. I'd I'd probably say every week we're getting like ten thousand new people though, and then that's yeah. Then it around like episode ten or twenty, it just oh, this is serious, you know? It was, yeah, it was crazy how fast it happened though. But the whole time, I mean, for years I would be on the road with Joe, and every time we were in radio doing radio stations like morning radio every time he would just sit there for like three hours usually you go in do your dates get the fuck out of there and every time he was having so much fun all the the djs were like this is the best episode we've ever done of you know our radio program yeah now we used to always go you need to do this you know yeah. for a living he was really yeah. In, yeah he can talk he can talk that's, you know, that's the people thing can talk he can engage in conversation yeah, yeah. yeah yeah that's true that's true wow. well i used to also you know we would be there when i would do those shows, you know, he's there. Joe's famous now for like the famously long podcasts, right? And I would always be like, you know, like after like that eighty minute mark, I'd be like, "Are we still going?" Yeah, you know. And then you'd end up doing sometimes these three hour podcasts, but it's always because he could drive it right. yeah. that long. You yeah, know? there there was many episodes where I just sat cross eyed, like after like the <laughs> second hour, I'm like, yeah. how. How is how are we still going? You know, like, <laughs> yeah. But then when you're on his show, it just goes by so fast. Yeah, it's yeah. So yeah. engaging, and yeah. like you get sucked into like. Well, it's a like world, a different you know? form now. I mean, I feel like back then you, I don't know. It's like a comedy podcast, and now yeah. it's like a serious. And that's a conversation, yeah. though. Yeah. So like yeah. you just like, I feel like the the way it's done now is the way to do it, yeah. and um, some of those early years are about figuring it out how to do it you know yeah, yeah like i was sure. i used to feel like we were more trying to put something on for it and like now i just feel like we're just talking yeah yeah, and, yeah, and yeah that, that's the, those are the best ones yeah i, mean, I agree like, i not, agree 100 percent. yeah I'm not, I'm not even trying hey were you so were you always um a techie kid growing up well my dad was an engineer and so like i grew up instead of playing with toys a lot just playing with my dad's like electronics like circuit mm-hmm. boards and soldering irons yeah. and shit like that and so i think because my dad he made me tacky and then he bought me a computer like when they first came out and so i always had computers and i was always trying to learn how to do everything uh and to me it was fun it was because i was such a video game guy that when computers got big like building my own computer and stuff uh, I just, yeah, I guess I've always been a techie guy. And now it's just out of control. Like, I, I have like an addiction to technology. It's ridiculous. You're always, like, since I've known you, you're the guy who, day one, you're unboxing the new shit. Yeah. 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 yeah now I. What's the hottest shit? What should we be buying right now? Hottest shit right now? Fuck. Yeah. Uh, let me see. One of my friends just showed us uh, Google Home. That was pretty cool. Oh, Google yeah. Home's cool. I yeah. mean, I have. I have all the other ones, like I have the Amazon Alexas and those. Uh, and I have the HomePod. HomePod. And I use that thing like twice. Yeah, it's not the best. I don't like, Siri's stupid, but Alexa's yeah. smart. Yeah. Uh, the that only bad, knows. Yeah, the only bad thing I don't <laughs> like is that I have one next to my bed and uh, I, I didn't know I had a camera in it. And then one day I just came into my room and the camera was on. I'm like, why is the, there's a camera? Why is this camera on? So now I'm like kind of freaked out Ooh, about it. Whoa. Did you hear about the, like what's going on right now with FaceTime on your phone? No. There's a no. bug. Where if I FaceTime you, 
uh, and you, before you answer, if I add a second person, if I add myself to it, or like if you type in your own phone number, it will turn on your phone and you could listen in to whatever's on the phone or the camera will pop up and you can see what's going on without even the person doing anything on uh, the other end. It's oh. kind of a serious bug. It's a ser- real, yeah, Apple's getting sued because I guess uh, somebody did it while like in court and heard like the other person's oh, like. Jesus. And uh, they, they just, just, they just, uh, they stopped it somehow. Like Apple stopped it. Uh, but it's so you can't do it now. Wow. But for like weeks, you could do that. So That's really creepy. Yeah. Well, what's the future, Red Band? What's the next big thing? What Probably do you VR. predict? VR. Yeah. yeah. That needs to catch up a little bit more. But being able to like, you know, feel like you're sitting right next to me during this podcast and just like look over, you know. Wow. Like, but you can kind of do it now. We've tried so many times with like uh, Kill Tony and other podcasts I've tried. But it's, you know, it's not there yet where it feels like you're really sitting there. In That's the room. great. Kill Tony blew up, man. You guys are killing it with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's getting real, real crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And yeah. you guys are going to do a European tour? Yeah, we're next in two weeks. We're going to uh, Ireland, Manchester, London, doing that whole thing. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I I've never. Have you ever been over there? Like, yeah, yeah. How yeah. how bad is that flight though? That's it's not, not that bad. It's man. not. Okay. Take a Xanax. Yeah. I need to get Xanax. I don't yeah. have a Xanny guy. <laughs> you could call really? a doctor guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? Oh, I <laughs> yeah. guess I could legally yeah. get it. Yeah. 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 Just sleep. You wake up. You're there. Have a drink. Watch some movies. Yeah. Have, eat an chill. edible. Actually, I wouldn't recommend the edible. No, I, no. I had a bad edible. I had a bad edible yeah. on the way to Australia once, and <laughs> that is a long. Like you start, you have a full panic. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I only have 14 more hours. Yeah. It's it's rough. I wouldn't do that. Diaz, but I would, Diaz gave me a, a a couple edibles once, and I thought it would be a good idea. Oh like I'd knock out. God. I was in the middle seat. It kicked in. I thought I was panicky, dying, going to the bathroom every 10 minutes. Excuse oh, me, can no. I uh, go to the bathroom? No, like, no good. Splashing water on my face. The fuck is terrible. That was a nightmare. Yeah, that, you don't want to do that. But you do. You can sleeping pill. Yeah. Yeah, drink. a little alcohol, a little like, wine. Need some NyQuil. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, easy it's not that bad, man. Yeah. yeah. Easy peasy. How long will the whole trip be for you guys? Uh, I think I'm there for like five days. Oh, that's and quick. Then, yeah. Well, I was going to... I had booked all these other shows and I was going to stay there in another week and uh, in Edinburgh or whatever, Edinburgh. Yeah. Uh, but then at the last moment, I was like, you know what? I'm already gone for five days. I'll just come back, you know, in the summer or something like that. Cool. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you propose to your girlfriend. Are you, taking, are you taking Propecia? Why do you have such a nice full yeah. head of no, hair? No. I've always had this. I just usually God. wear hats. I mean, what are you hiding this shit for? I don't like to be noticed. I don't know. I, like to, I always like to have my hat on. I don't know if you ever noticed. I always have my Me hat too. on. I always like to try to hide. And why? That's why? What's the hiding? What are you hiding from? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've always been that way. I don't know why. I've always been like the outsider. Look guy. at this hair. I know it's so lush. It's too much. It's full. Jeez. Are you? Do you are you? You're hairy, right? Hairy back and everything. Oh, yeah. Isn't that, the back's not that bad so though. Hairy. Chest is full. Yeah. Uh, right back band. is splotchy it's a lot i have a question for you how soon after you make a bowel movement can you get into sexual play well i mean i've not, i don't think i've ever done it or i, I think right away i mean wet wet wipes <laughs> wet wipes pretty much you, you know whoa you're still on wet wipes well what do you guys use are you kidding me you don't have oh no no i don't have the fancy the total washlet a washlet's what you need to get <laughs> i i was gonna by the way fire I, hose i texted you the other day if you had a squatty potty yeah because i was gonna buy you guys one but then i remembered oh. that you had this toilet and then i was like they're not gonna they're just gonna throw it away well no we have a squatty potty in addition to the toto oh, washlet well, but glad. we're well, not into it yeah i don't wow. we have we have one yeah and it's you don't get you don't like that i don't like it i don't, I don't mind it i i, I mean it, it's cool it's not my favorite thing but i i mean i've used it i'm like, addicted to it like really? If, I, if, really? if i'm in a hotel room and i, I go fuck i don't have my squatty potty Stop i have to problem. make one out of yeah. a trash can and stuff like that <laughs> put those feet up yeah i've bought squatty potties for like five different comics oh, you know wow. like like don barris and yeah and sandro and like i just buy them if i find out they don't have people don't have them yeah that's real nice that of wash you. lead is the way to go man yeah, yeah what are you doing well i i actually was looking into it but then i found out you have to put power to it so yes. you have to get like a electrician in a plumber yes. i mean it's just a lot and it's not i don't own the place so it's like why am i that's no, true but upgrade. man once you have that sweet stream of warm water i know cleaning up your beautiful raisin cake <laughs> you're ready to i love it so you yeah. don't even use wet wipes anymore really. no no damn that's so great and i actually i kind of get shit to shower more now 
because I will dump and then just let that stream run mm -hmm. for like two minutes, which is essentially the shit to shower concept. Yeah. Yeah. And then like you wipe and there's nothing there. Yeah. I still do shit to shower, but right. I total wash let first. Oh yeah. Well, a lot. Then, yeah. But then I don't even go to wipe. I just know that the Toto's taken care wow. of. Wow. <laughs> that is bold and brazen. Yeah. If you're like, oh, I'm sure there's no chocolate. I'm sure there. there's no chocolate. <laughs> Well, because I've run it for a good amount of time and I feel confident it that would, it's out. So well, a, speaking of wiping, have you masturbated with your <laughs> toilet yet? No. Because you know how women, no. you, sorry, Tom, no. but you know how women like sit in the bathtub and have like water sure. drip on them? Yeah. I always wondered Brian, if people just, you know, women. Brian, my toilet is splattered with his browns uh, like there's God. shit caked on the upper no, on. inner rim come on it's not a good place that's not fair it is true though it's not caked okay. with shit it's caked for cacas yeah no. how many how many times a week do you or how many times a week do you have diarrhea me yes yeah. or liquid never 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 wow. I, it's been months since i've had diarrhea go ahead well now i would say <laughs> i'm good for a couple of week yeah really yeah. two a week well back in the day i would say oh, I you, okay, okay. Yeah. back in the day i would say like five or six days a week oh okay, okay. and then mm -hmm. when i really started eating more like cutting much more sugar out right. big change big effect yeah now you i still i'm not a big drinker right. i still will you know like i got sick a week but that's not i'm, I'm not always sick right so i got sick that was uh fucking just torrential down like a tropical <laughs> forest of shit but tropical sh uh shower but this is i would say on a regular week there's a couple like oh what was that yeah um but that's you know a few a week well i'm sorry yana i forgot yeah i had um korean food for lunch one day mm -hmm. and then for dinner japanese you food. had bad you had uh, a bad experience and i had a messy brown the next day but yeah. it wasn't diarrhea it was just really hot and messy wow yeah, um, I have. I, I have. I think I'm good for at least two a week. I would put the money Jeez, down. What about that. you? Uh, well, I drink, so you have to put that in. Sure. And uh, probably say like four a week, maybe. And are they usually the morning wow. after like a big booze night or something? Yeah, usually that. Yeah. And it's like, like fart. Like it just explodes like a, yeah. a bomb. Like the, like it almost it almost feels like a turd's coming out, and then yeah. a, a fart goes in the middle and blows it apart. The like whole a, thing goes you know, away. Like yeah. a suicide bomber. Or yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What was that? Oh. <laughs> is that a real one? <laughs> yeah, it's real. What is that? That's cash ripper. Uh. Oh, Ooh, that's snappy. Ooh. Oh, that's. Uh. Oh. Uh. That's that is so one. nasty. Oh. Is that what you sound like? It's more violent than that. I should, more I should, violent than I should, that. I'll record it for you. I think, I really think I have. Uh, IBS is that what it's called? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Because I mean, it's 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 power. Like, you want to check that out or no? Nah, I, I kind of like it. No. You kind of like I, IBS? No, I kind of like <laughs> just having it come out really fast. You know. <laughs> Blue Pan really likes this idea. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but it's probably the drinking. I'm gonna go. Like, yeah. I'm what are you like, drinking? Uh, Hard alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Liquor. Yeah. Liquor. Yeah. yeah. Did you find? Did you feel like real? You know, beef when you met Blue Band when you're like. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I didn't know he was a real person this whole time. <laughs> I always thought he was just that eagle. Well, <laughs> well that's yeah, a representation. That's a representation of him. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, hey, but Metamucil. Uh, I don't know if you ever taken that. Yes. I thought, did you talk about Metamucil before? I'm sure we have. Okay, because yes. I I couldn't remember who told me about it, and then one day I was like, I saw it at the store. I'm like, I think Tom and. Christina talked about this and I bought it. It is. It's magical. That's it is magical. great. Yeah. The only thing with Metamucil is that when you have to go, it's an emergency. Yeah, you great. better be near a toilet. Right. You can't hold it in. Right. So you got to kind of plan your day. You got to plan like eight hours after you take it. Yeah. You know what I hours. haven't had lately though? Like maybe a year is a mm. Loch Ness shit. You know, like one mm. of the ones that you're like, how is this not broken apart? You know? <laughs> Like I used to get those at least once a month yeah. at least. Those are but those are for healthy. You need to be oh, eating. I think it's healthy, don't you? Wait. The so Loch Ness dump where he's saying it's like the Loch Ness monster. It's yeah, like long. The real long one. You're like, how is this so it didn't big? Break. Oh yeah. Those don't come that often either. <laughs> yeah. I used to get them a lot though. Really? Yeah. I think when you if your diet's clean, you'll see that more. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's good eating. Yeah. No drinking, <laughs> some salads. Yeah. And I found it's also if I really get jacked on caffeine. 
if I drink like uh, white lightning, like I get real weird and then I hold in the duty for a while and then it'll be like a long one. Oh, really? <laughs> It's a really nice story are, too. How many times do you guys go to the bathroom per day? Because I think mine is mine. out of control. How many really? times do you go to the bathroom? And what's your average day? <laughs> I would say seven times I take a shit a day. No, you're every sick. day. Every you're day. Lying. You need to go to a doctor. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Brian. Yeah. Are you being truthful? I'm being truthful. How much blood? <sighs> Not as much anymore. But yeah. when I started keto, that kind of went away. So. Uh, I'd probably say once a month. No, like three times a month. You have some serious blood. Yeah, but it's all in a row. Like, cause it's <laughs> it's a uh, hemorrhoid. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, sure. So you see the red on the paper. Oh, uh, it's all over your hand. It's soaking through the hand. You know, and that's not normal at all. <laughs> that's not normal. Man. Yeah, it's good to recycle your blood, though. I thought. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> you haven't seen a doctor. You know what's funny? <laughs> have you had? Have you had? Kind of no self care. Do you know that now they changed? <laughs> they changed the uh, American. Medical Association changed the suggested age for a colonoscopy. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. They moved I, it to 45. Well, I had one like four years ago. I went and to they your were like, no. things are cool? Yeah. They said everything, you, like, er, like I got a full physical, got a colonoscopy. Like, uh, you got a colonoscopy? Or like, yeah, with finger in me. No, no, that, no, that's not a colonoscopy. Okay. What's colonoscopy? That, that's when the, the GI around. specialist goes in with and checks you out. With a camera and, and like they Don't flush they put you, you out. You under yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. This is the one where they put like some kind of weird thing to open up my butt and they looked inside and what? Yeah. Huh. The that's... physician didn't do that to you. Yeah, it had to be that's a when that's when they found out I had an internal hemorrhoid and uh, they did the rubber band litigation or whatever it's called, where they tie a rubber band <laughs> rubber around band your litigation. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Jesus that was the worst Christ. thing that's ever, to, I've ever to, done. To kill the hemorrhoids? Yeah. And it, you're supposed to come back like two more times. But after the first time, I was like, no, I'm never doing that again. It was the most pain I ever had in my life. Really? It felt like somebody was pinching the inside of my asshole, like, like just like nonstop. And there was nothing you could put on it. Like I tried doing pain ring killers. Uh. It was just like getting a, a titty twister in your asshole. Where Ooh. was this doctor? Was this in Koreatown? No, or was no, it? No, it was... Uh, I don't know. Women Somewhere is. special. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's a funny. Story. Uh, so you ever do those like 24 or not 24 minutes? Seven like that, times you, a day you're shitting. Yeah. Yeah. You're sick. No. Yeah. You're sick. It's healthy to poop. Not seven, not seven times. times a day. Something's wrong. Really? Every yeah. day's like this? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like I go through a wet wipe every two days, like a package. Dude. Wait, <laughs> speaking of, wait, let me, what do you <laughs> think of this? Because oh, we're talking no, about bro. wiping. Make me feel what bad. do you think is going on with this wiping technique right here? Okay, <laughs> pull this up. What what is this guy doing? Just if you can watch. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's all in the shadow work. But look, look how he's going back and forth. I don't understand. And back and forth. <laughs> oh my god. And back <laughs> and forth. What I'm seeing. Right. That is weird. Maybe smelling uh, it. Oh. I think. I think he's doing back <laughs> and forth and back. I think he's passing the paper around. Oh. Left hand, right hand. Oh my God. I mean, like a basketball what? or like a ball? It's it's hard to see. Maybe it's just a crazy person too. No. I think he's doing rapid checking where he's like, is there still chocolate there? And he looks <laughs> and he looks and he looks like back. Oh, and that was a multiple. Oof. That is weird. Cool. <laughs> That's crazy. So I have low, I have low blood pressure. Yeah, and I got one of those. Sounds dead. like there's a lot of good things yeah. going on. Yeah, healthy as a horse. No, that, like my physical is like oh, you just need vitamin D. That's it. And but I have low blood pressure. They've always told me I had low blood pressure. And so I tried to do one of those like DNA tests where you have to prick your finger and then put five spots on that piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't get any blood it's out. A paternity and like, I'm squeezing test. it and squeezing it. You couldn't so, get blood out. I couldn't. Like like and I tried multiple fingers. Uh, I tried getting my uh, finger warm. So then I just waited till I had a blood uh, toilet thing, and then I just used that. <laughs> oh, God. You used your You're asshole so blood? Damaged. Yeah. You used your ass yeah, blood. Yeah, because it, it's, it, there was a lot. I mean, like when you wipe, it's all over your hands. So I just like took it like, like when that. When it's wipe, it, you, it's all over your hands. I mean, sometimes it's really bad. Yeah. Pools of blood. It's like my whole hand, like the whole paper towel. It's just blood. red. I think you need a psychiatrist. No, I've talked to Ari. Everything's fine. <laughs> Do you live at a shelter now? Yeah, no, what is going no. on with you? Do, do you guys don't have internal hemorrhoids? No. 
No, I, I've seen I've seen a little like a streak before on right. paper where you're like, oh, what's I that? I think that's just dry wiping or something. Like, Maybe, yeah. but pools of blood. Where no. I'm like, oh, my hands soaked. Imagine it's like I murdered somebody. No. No. And it, my hemorrhoid. Some some are bigger, some are smaller. Like my girlfriend, she calls her hemorrhoid pinky. It's disgusting. I hate. Oh. But she went to go get it checked out, and they're like, oh no, you have a very small one. You could just keep that one. Mine is keep like that one. Mine is Why? a pretty decent size one. Why are you getting these? Are, is your diet so bad that you're pushing a lot, or is, is that you're hard to diarrhea? believe or something? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how. Because I, I, I got I've them. Always, I've from, had it for a while. Yeah. From yeah. pregnancy, but yeah. But I've stopped. I feel like the hem my hemorrhoids went away because I don't eat. I eat a, a pretty decent diet, and I don't push out the browns. I don't think they I go think away pushing, ever. I think you're going to get them shrink. back. Yeah, 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 but but they don't. They They'll don't hurt. And if you're eating clean, though, it would definitely it you, helps. You feel it way less. Yeah, like right now, my guy, he's cool, you know. But like in like maybe a month, he'll come back out. He'll get fill. Like a bubble inside oh of me. Oh my god! And then it just takes a hard turd to pop it. Okay. Okay. How yeah. about? Can we do the updated <laughs> physical happened. again? Yeah. Can we? Be, yeah, I need to. I, I guess I please? need to, the IBS shit. Well, yeah, and just, like at, at now, like once you're in your forties, you should do a yearly physical. Yeah, That's the normal thing. Right. That's the healthy thing to do. Yeah. Please. Yeah, I will. All right. God. <laughs> Promise. Man, you guys make me feel bad. Take care. No, you're I feel we're bad. just grown ups. You have to. You're an adult. Ish. You got to act. Yeah. You're a grown man. This guy's got pools of blood. I know. What the fuck? Not every day. It just once in a while. I mean, Ari does it too. All the time. No, yeah, he's got problems. Ari goes well, to the doctor, doesn't he? I don't. I think he goes about as much as me. No. I think Ari actually deals with the problem. I don't know. I don't know. Have you he, seen his uh, butthole? Right? He, sa he sends me text uh, okay. photos of his wipes. And yeah. it's just like blood it's Ooh, really crazy okay. yeah he, we used to always send each other back and forth whenever we had our uh, blood moon and yeah. like, <laughs> to see if we were synced up and sometimes we both had it at the same time wow um, <laughs> that's really neat i feel like um you know red band really he put it out he had a, he was a, he's got a prolific dating history um there's a lot of girls that were like uh like like special girls porn girls are you dating some porn girls yeah how what was that like for you porn girls uh well they were lesbian porn girls so it was a little bit better oh you know? how's that because it because they're not getting drilled by guys yeah exactly <laughs> and it was kind of hot you know so you were turned on by it yeah now but but did you because the whole thing about like when you really get into that world mm -hmm. is you you kind of discover that like this is their job so did it feel like it was robotic that they're like, I shot a scene with this girl today. Yeah. It was hundred so, percent like that. So it wasn't like this. Oh my God, that's so hot because it's a, it's like a show they put on. Yeah. I mean, it, there was nothing sex. Like you, th you have in your head, like, Oh, a porn stars like this and that. And then when you actually see what they do, you're like, wow, this is really bullshit and fake, you know, yeah. like, uh, like they, they like they, they barely ever come or like, but they act like they're coming, you know, mm -hmm. and shit like that. I mean, and it wasn't that bad. Like I, it, I thought I would be really jealous and crazy about it, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. And the only time I ever got jealous is when like, she's like, well, I have a photo shoot with this dude on top of a building. I'm like, who's this guy? You know, like, yeah. that, that kind of stuff. Well, what was, why would the guy be there if she's doing lesbian? Uh, he would be the photographer, Oh, you know, cause those guys are always trying to fuck the girls. Oh, of course. And so yeah. that's the only part that I hated about the whole thing. Yeah. But no, it's pretty cool. I mean, I ended up dating a couple of them and then I dated a, a boy girl porn star and that that was hard that I mean and so we t tell us about yeah, that I'm curious. how does that go yeah. well I'll tell you one of the worst things that ever yeah, happened, yeah yeah okay yeah so she was known for getting drilled like bad and like to she, vaginal and anal or yeah just... well this is an anal day well let me ask you this um, before you even get to the story mm -hmm. would you would there be like is it the kind of thing where like Sunday, you know that she's working Tuesday and Thursday that week? Do you know what I mean? Like, was there build up to things where, you know, tomorrow she you worked should... every day, every Ooh. day. Yeah. This girl, I don't want to say who she is anymore, yeah. but uh, this girl was one of the top girls and she was working multiple movies every single day. God, blah, blah, blah. she's still doing it. No, no, she's out of it now. That's why I don't really want to talk about it. But, yeah, that's 
Uh, but she was known for getting drilled. She was known as one of the more extreme girls. Okay. Like, yeah, kind of like an Asa Akira, you know, type girl. Okay. Uh, so she had an anal day. And uh, usually... Do you after, know this the day before? Is that how it works? No, I think I knew this that day. That like, day. Like, I was like, what happened tonight? Oh, I got fucked in the ass by two guys in the ass. I was like, oh, really? Right. But I was kind of so dead inside, that, like in this relationship. Like, I don't even know how I did this, but... Uh, and usually she would come home and like shower. She had like a thing in her shower that actually just cleaned her asshole out and like kind of like a douche stick. I don't even know what it was called. It was just connected to the shower. It was weird. And she got off and she's like, uh, she's like, uh, I'm ready to pick me up. I got a cool party we're going to go to. And so we went to Slash's house of Guns N' Roses. And because she was friends with his wife at the time okay. before they got divorced. Okay. And Slash's house is this huge mansion. Half of it is just a nightclub. It's just like being in a nightclub. They have full bouncers, <laughs> bartenders, DJs. He's like 60? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was ridiculous. Okay. And we decided to do Molly. She had never Good done for him. like ecstasy before. You know? right. So she's like, let's do ecstasy and go to this party. And, so, and let's see what happens with all these rock stars. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Huh. So... Uh, so we, we do ecstasy. She's never done it before. She is gone. She's just like, I want to fuck so bad. I'm so horny. And, then, and I'm like, let's go outside. So we go outside and there's a sign like, do not go past this gate. You know, the party wasn't, you're not allowed going up this. Yeah. So we go past the gate and it's his pool area. And there's this big bush by the pool and we go in the bush to hide and I just start eating her ass out. And I forgot about the, the, the what she did that day before, right? <laughs> And and, and, she, and I'm eating her butt, and she's like, "Oh my god, I can't feel my butt." And I was like, "I can't feel my mouth." And she accidentally fucking farts a shit into my mouth, oh. and I go, oh, and I taste it, like you, like you know, like how you, like shit, it, man. it was. The, I mean, it's in my mouth at this point, and I'm like, I don't want her to know that she did this, so I blew it what? back into her butt, and then I start wiping my face off on her, her butt and I remember her she just had smears all over her butt <laughs> she did, couldn't feel that I blew it back into her and then I drank pool water because it was so disgusting oh god I'm traumatized alright <laughs> well thanks for stopping by oh, god god man what oh, the I fuck? need a minute yeah oh Jesus Christ Jesus what do you call that rectum oh <sighs> Just when you think the show can't get any <clears throat> crazy. You thought Uncle Terry was Terry, bad. Yeah. Just bring Brian by. I didn't think the bar could go that high. You thought we would like the story yeah. of the woman I thought you liked shit this into your mouth <laughs> and then you pushed it back into her asshole? Yeah. Was there a... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, was there oh, a, I didn't even realize your shirt. What's it say? Oh, me like poop fart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was there C U M on the poo? What? Was oh, there? I I couldn't see because it, it was so dark. But Dude. I did. Do you but, taste you know, it? Well, that was the weird thing. Oh, when I, I my, tasted it. I'm gonna fuck it. Felt you. familiar. <laughs> like, how do I know it? Like, maybe uh, I, I had a bad wipe and I itched my nose at one point or in my lip and I tasted it before. Like, I I remember I was like, this is a God. familiar taste. And what did brown taste like? Uh, hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no, hell to the no, to the no, 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 no. listen. God damn it. That might have been the most perfect drop ever at this moment. I can't remember what it tastes like. But what does brown taste Wait, she's, like? You never told her the rest, you never told that story? I never told her this story. And oh. she put her, she had what? to know something happened. I know who it is. <laughs> she I remember, had to know yeah. it something happened because she put on her clothes and her butt had like I mean I wiped my like, I was brown. doing like this shit you know but I did fuck her and then you know I then when? put a- her, after that oh know, that, yeah, that, at that, that moment at that moment I grabbed some pool water swooshed my mouth out and started fucking her and then in her butt no no okay God you are a savage yeah I was on Molly man I had no oh, idea what I was drugs. doing so you yeah, I forgot about drugs yeah and, and then you guys went back than, to the party yeah. And she had shit all over, <sighs> smeared all over her. Yeah. Not on the outside of her pants, I don't think. Right. But I didn't really check. I just remember when she put it up, I was like, wow, that's a lot of shit. Yeah, I think Morton's might pull out a sponsorship <laughs> from after this one. Wow. They're going to be like, wait, what's your show about? Oh, my God. 
Oh. Zip recruiter. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, I'm like, I'm wiped from that story. I think Ooh. I need a nap after that. I'm pretty tired. I, I gotta call my therapist. <laughs> I mean, have you never, well, I guess, never mind. I don't want to no. take it. Let's talk about, do you guys have any <laughs> dental updates? <laughs> uh, I need to go to the dentist. It's been a while, actually. Yeah. I have to get a cleaning done. Yeah, I got to get a couple teeth replaced. Huh? My two front <laughs> my two front teeth are fake. and I Yeah, mine too. And because of all my IBS acid reflux and shit like that, it's just burnt the teeth. I think so. it's, is it acid reflux or reflex? I don't know. Whatever. I think it's reflux. Duran Duran. Elementary. Mm. Huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so your two fronts, are they totally fake or they're veneer? Uh, they're half totally fake. One of them, my right one, half I was supposed to get totally replaced fake. like 20 years ago. It's like, this is a temporary. <laughs> you have a 20 year old yeah. temp tooth? Yeah. How has that thing lasted? Dental, so? It doesn't. It's, I don't know if you see it's like fucking. It falls. Wait, lean, does it lean, fall lean, out? I want to show you. Let's just show me. Too shy. That Dude. one's a temp? Yeah, the one that just looks like. Bruh. Yeah. You got to go. I don't have dental insurance. That shit's expensive. Nobody does. Just fucking just pay for it. Why does no one have dental insurance? Because it's kind of a rip. Yeah. How often do you need it? That's true. You just can pay. You it. just skip a new fucking yeah. iPad. And just pay for that. That's true. Yeah. You got to go to doctors and dentists, everything. Dude. Yeah. And we want you, you <laughs> to tell the doctor that cool story. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like in shock right now. I feel bad. I feel Don't bad feel bad. Time. No. It's great. It's a great story. Yeah, it was neat. It's real beautiful. <laughs> Did you watch the um, Fire Fest docs? I watched both of them. I only seen the Netflix one. It's. I highly recommend watching the Hulu one. The Hulu really? one's way more interesting in my opinion. Really? Seriously. The Hulu one's the only one that actually interviewed the main guy throughout the whole thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's very interesting seeing his side of it. And It is? It, I heard he's a total fucking psycho. He is, but yeah. it's still kind of... <laughs> it's cool because the other one, you just see clips of him walking indoors and yeah. shit yeah. like that. Where this one, you're actually like, he kind of talks about it. And it still makes you hate Ja, ja Rule, though. Like, like, Well, that was my question, is that how did he come out of this pretty unscathed i feel I like does that guy took the rap on all of it yeah yeah i don't get i don't get that part but ja Ru, i don't know if you've been following ja Ru on his twitter though it's kind of interesting yeah. what's he saying i don't know he's been uh posting things and then deleting them i think he's like it's not fraud remember he's like it's, it's not fraud, fraud. It's just like false advertising have you been following <laughs> soldier boy no yeah a little bit like he starts selling all these like uh like he, he pretty much went to this website where you can buy like these fake like video game consoles they're not fake but they they play stolen software mm -hmm. like you can buy one that has like every single nintendo game on it right yeah and it's like uh 20 bucks on this like chinese website you can buy like a hundred of them if you want so he bought a bunch of them slapped his name on it and called it like the soldier boy <laughs> video game system charges like 150 250 dollars i mean it's just selling pirated software on them and like nintendo is uh like is suing him or something like two weeks well, later yeah but he's selling all this crap on his website that's just all these knockoffs. Mm, like he's geez. selling like a fake Apple Watch. He's like, what? Yeah. What is happening? So I'm thinking like, how is he selling all this stuff? Like, is doesn't he have money? And then I realized like he's always holding up stacks of money. On the same website, you could buy fake stacks of money. Uh, and you know, yeah. it's not illegal to buy it. It's illegal to try to use it, but you can like, like hold walk up. around yeah. and hold these hold this money all you want it's so silly that's a big thing now though yeah. just holding the stacks stacks of money yeah and you phone call with the stack yeah and flex with the stack <laughs> yeah you should get a couple <laughs> stacks of everything yeah. you know for this studio absolutely great idea <laughs> <laughs> yeah um well there was a uh, uh, we've all seen it now but for people that haven't there's a great part in this film where they're talking about for people that don't know firefest was this uh this ca catastrophic failure of a music festival that was that they Ja Rule was a partner in it and they attempted to host this on a Bahamian island with no infrastructure and bring in some of the top uh, music acts and that you know they they promoted the hell out of it they sold out tickets in advance millions of dollars in revenue and basically nothing was ready um of course for this because they tried to make it happen in just a few months. And one of the things, as everything was falling apart, they realized some of the basic needs weren't ready uh, to go. Um, for instance, there was a, a huge semi uh, full of bottled water that was like stuck at a port 
or um, you know some customs person and I guess word was that the guy in charge was gay so the guy who was running this fest asked one of his consultants to actually go and visit him I think this is a clip we have of that um, did Andy ever tell you how he had to get the water out oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Did Andy tell you about I had to get the water out? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was like fucking crazy. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We had four containers filled, four 18-wheeler trucks filled with Evian water. But I had left the week before for two days to go to meetings in Bermuda for the America's Cup. And when I came back, I missed the big meeting with... Customs and of course customs had said to Billy and the gang you need to pay us a hundred and seventy five thousand dollars in cash today For us to release the water. I went down. Well, Billy called me. And I'm gonna speak completely um, You know this won't go that far. I'm sure but Billy <laughs> called and said Andy We need you to take one big thing for the team and I said Oh my gosh, I've been taking something for the team every day. He said well, you're our wonderful gay leader, and we need you to go down. Will you suck dick to fix this water problem? And I said, Billy, what? He said, Andy, if you will go down and suck Cunningham's dick, who's the head of co uh, customs, and get him to clear all of the containers with water, you will save this festival. And I literally drove home took a shower, I, 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 I drank some mouthwash. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm really, and I got into my car to drive across the island to take one for the team. And I got to his office fully prepared to suck his dick. <laughs> but he couldn't have been nicer. And he's like, Andy, listen, I will release all the water. I will let you serve it. But I want to be, be one of the first people to be paid this import fee for what you're doing. And I said, okay, great. And I got back and I had all the water that we needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Jesus. best clip ever i mean yeah that guy from, from customs a... i'm sure is happy to have that out there <laughs> of course <laughs> what were you saying that we were talking about this yesterday how he was like you want me to what remember um no i don't remember <laughs> he doesn't seem to hesitate too much is oh what yeah said. yeah well yeah i mean the, <laughs> he was he didn't even have at least in this story he's not like I was deeply troubled yeah. by it. <laughs> right. really, he was just like, suck a dick. All right. Like, <laughs> just go down and suck a stranger's yeah. dick. He's like, you want to do what? What time is it? Like, yeah. he totally, he he's like, I went home, I took a shower, I put some mouthwash. And right. I went there to suck the guy's dick. Yeah. What's the big deal? What would you, would you suck a, someone's dick? Oh. Well, hold on. All right. Hold on. What if there's a lot of money involved? No. Well, hold on. How much? 20 grand. No. 25 grand. No. Seriously? That's not no hundred thousand dollars. Whoa! No. no, no. You could Why? fix that too. That's not much money, man. Hundred grand in cash? No, that's not much money. That's a lot of money. You could buy Why a are you new tooth. Wait. Why are you saying a hundred grand is not a lot of money? Because a hundred grand is not a lot of money. What are you talking about? You have a hundred grand sitting around? Yeah, yeah, Rockefeller. No, but to me, that's not a lot, enough money to suck a dick. Okay. What I would say. Will you jack a guy off for a hundred grand? No. Jesus, man. Would you? No, but it's not a lot of money. <laughs> I know you would it. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, 200000 To suck a guy's dick? No. Jesus. I would say maybe a million, but probably not. Fuck. Now you jack a guy off for um, That's easy. 000. Come on. For how much? 250 grand. No. Oh, really? That's your hand. You yeah, just, but I don't want to even be there. Like I'm, you I, put well, you don't want to be there, but you just got a free. quarter million yeah, dollars. It's too gay for me, man. I, I don't like that gay shit. You jack the guy off onto the back of your knee. Look, I don't. I don't even you... like being in the locker room at twenty four hour fitness. You know, like I don't I, like. It, You're that homophobic. Jeez. I'm not homophobic. I just like. Open your I've heart. always been like that. Like like in gym class, like in like old, like elementary school or, or high school and stuff. I skipped the whole locker room. Area. Like I never. You know, I'm not yeah. like Burt Kreischer where I'm taking off my shirt, <laughs> you know, shit like that. No one's yeah, that fat, no but yeah, so, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> you know what's so funny about that CEO guy or whatever? Like, I don't think he needed the gig that bad. Like, you know what I mean? He was an established person in his career. He's not like a young... This guy? Yeah, the, the dick sucks, I'm yeah. saying. Oh, yeah, no. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Like, I know, gay, though, it's so different. To him, that's like... I know, but it's like... <laughs> yeah, but just a second. You would have thought dick. that like this question, there's the, the person who's like, all right, is like 18, 19, right? Right. Like, new to like just young and reckless this is like a gentleman 
You know, this guy's like. Well, I think honestly, he's just playing he a little character right there. Like, I bet he has a boyfriend or something. Yeah. But to him, he was like, "Fuck yeah, I'll suck a guy's dick." I'll I suck think any it's. Guy's dick, I know? think it's just. Per, it's also permission <laughs> to do something like that. You know, it's like, well, I'm doing it for the my business, like for the like the boss man asked me to. Like he thought that guy was cute, anyways. Maybe he was like, "All right, maybe." I don't know. I can't believe Red Band's like, "Nah, I won't jack a guy off for a quarter million dollars." Eh. Jesus. I barely like you. Nah, would you for two hundred fifty thousand dollars jack a, a guy off? job, Tom. You would not do that. No, but I mean, <laughs> you would not do that. I, why would you? I know Bert would. Oh, Bert would. Yeah. Yeah. Bert likes hanging out with guys. That's his whole thing. Like parties and with, yeah. you know. I barely like hanging out with guys. You know, like would you jack a guy for half a million dollars? Five hundred thousand dollars to jack a guy off. Cash. Come it's just on, bags guys. Full of cash. It's not that serious. You jack yourself off. What's the difference? Yeah. Put your hand on another dude's thing. I'd probably do it for five hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Jack, jack a guy off. Not yeah. Just, not put your mouth on it. Right. You gotta spit. You gotta spit in your hand, obviously. But that's not like. Yeah. 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 Five hundred thousand would be fine. All right, and then you just rub the. There's not going to be a guy that's going to walk in this room right now. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> It's uh, With it's, stacks. it's our new sponsor. Uh, there you go. Oh God, uh, you wouldn't you you rub it in like you rub the jizz into like your stomach, but then you're done. You rub the jizz in your stomach. Yeah, that's yeah. a different level. That's not that big of. That's a not deal. that big of a deal. You're not eating it. It's not in your eyes. Is it filmed? No. No. Do I get to pick the guy? Well. You get a pick out of you get you have options. There's like five options. All right. Well, you know, I, I've been I met Brad Pitt the other day. I've been hanging out with Brad Pitt. Yeah. You've been hanging out with him? I'm just kidding. Uh no, I if I had options, if I had like one of each race and I could choose. Uh, really? Yeah. You're going on racial. Yeah, cuz I'd rather Why? I'd rather do an Asian guy. Why? Because I could look at him and think my girlfriend and a problem. Oh, I got right. to his office fully prepared. To suck his dick. Right. Okay. Go. Yeah. I'd, would you? You would blow or jack off the Asian guy? Jack off an Asian guy. You're You're, there, was just <laughs> there was just one. There was just. No, there was just one right there. You know, I wish. Yeah. You, I wish yeah. we could have. Oh yeah, that. we could have arranged that. We just have to get a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's weird because, like, I mean, if it's an Asian guy, like a Korean, I could probably do it way a easier Korean than if Asian? it was like a white guy or a black guy. Yeah, easier. I it hard. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> Did you hear it? I just fired a little one. It was, uh, we had Zanku again for lunch. <laughs> you had a good fart? No, it wasn't good. It was little. But you're the fart supremacist. You won't try the fart mic at all times. I try all the time. That's true. I wish I had one right now. I know. So do I. You could be the first guest ever to use the fart mic. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta lay on your side to make it come yeah. out. It gets guaranteed if I if when I'm in bed if I flip from like the right to the left I yeah don't 100% you make fart. Yeah. yeah you're shitting seven times a day <laughs> yeah yeah how can you not produce a fart at that I've shit twice already today and I woke up at 10 a.m. <sighs> telling you your man. life <laughs> I have some would you rather's for a uh, Brian Redman let's do it are you ready. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what was that? Was that? That was Terry. Ugh, so fucking nasty. That was Terry all slowed down. So would you, would you jack a guy? Uh. <laughs> would you jack a guy off for 500000 No. Oh, come on. That's half a million dollars. An Asian. You crazy? Hmm. Well, Not like he's... Yoshi, too. I'm talking about like a clean one. <laughs> a nice Asian guy? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Five hundred thousand dollars. I mean, the only reason I would do it is just so I can move. That's, yeah, that's pretty. You sick. can move on a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> nah, you can't. Nah, 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 nah. Um, where are you moving to? Yeah, you can. No, nah, you can't. A hundred thousand dollars. There's a house right next to my like this rundown house. It's a two bedroom, one bath, rundown house. The woman had Alzheimer's. It was all nasty. They kind of remodeled it a little, just repainted it, and I was like, it was for sale. I'm like, that house can't be that expensive. It's just a small little shack. One point four million dollars. Right. Okay, but you're saying to buy a house. Like, yeah. I'm just saying to move and rent. Oh, That's rent doable. And yeah. Like, this guy's got to be Asian now in this scenario. No, no, no. You could choose the race. I just chose Asian because I, I prefer. Because, <laughs> because you. I think it would be easier. 
Why would it be easier? Because oh, his girlfriend's I, I feel like Asian. you're just doing sound bites. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was just trying to hear your rationale for it. No, I just think that would be easier than doing it. What would you, what race would you? I'm choose? just saying, like, you wouldn't do the black guy? No, that would be my least uh, of all the races. Jesus, Why is that? There's half a million dollars. Because that's too scary for me. A black guy? Yeah, that's. But it's a hand job. Yeah, but I mean, you know how, you know how like hairless this Asian guy would probably be? Yeah. And then what, what is the black guy? Covered Big in hair? Muff, you know, yeah purple veins and shit like that oh that's great did you get it we heard it but we weren't on you ah uh, yeah fucking. which race would you choose um i mean i don't think i would do something like that five hundred thousand dollars you wouldn't seriously i don't think so just jack it's off it's just a hand job i know but i mean this theater tour is going pretty well <laughs> yeah but no it's not filmed yeah that is half a million dollars for it's one, it's decent. fucking five minutes of your life, and then you talk about it in therapy, and you're done. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I don't even think you would have to go to therapy. I think, it would, you know, for a hand job, for you're getting all this money, you're like, yeah, that was worth it. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I jack... liking it. I would jack all those five dicks, all the races, for 500000 Wait, now you're giving out free ones? No, 100000 per race. He yeah, but there were five races. But I'm saying you can get 500000 per race. Oh, okay, yeah. Why are you giving out food? Well, I, don't, I didn't know that I said I'll do all five. How much Jeez. would it cost That's for you easy. to go down on Amy Schumer? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, my sakes. God. What are you oh, doing? After it. a workout. What? Oh, stop. <laughs> She's pregnant. All right. Asshole. Oh, fuck it. Oh, no, fuck. I fuck. hate terror. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah! Oh. Okie dokie, thanks. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Leslie Damn Jones it. after a workout. Oh, so nasty. Who? Leslie Jones after a workout. How Guys, much would it cost? What are you doing, do man? I want to know what Christina would do. Yeah, but I want to do other comedians. It's not fair. All right, yeah. any woman. I don't Any woman? No. What are you talking about? Uh, but that's going down is different than hand jobs. That's way more intimate. All right. Yeah, it's pretty intimate. You're asking a lot. It's a lot. All right, how much would it cost, though? Mm, who? What about it's the who do I? Who's the person? Do I get to pick? You them? get to choose the person. I get to control their hygiene. But she has to be over seventy. Oh, see, so, <laughs> no, it's not happening. The fuck off. Okay, I'm gonna do. Would you rather just for All right. you right, All right. There. All right, let's do it. Custom made for you, Brian Redband. Okay, would you rather? You're gonna go into the Marine Corps, active duty. Okay, and we're gonna station you in Afghanistan. And not like a nice marine base like Leatherneck or Bagram. Like you're on a forward operating base of FOB. And there's no cement. It's just dirt. And you're shitting into wag bags and throwing your bags of shit into fire. And uh, you're out patrolling maybe. You know, you go on foot patrols. You come back every now and then. Uh, but here's the upside, okay? Every now and then you get a nice MRE with some treat in there. You know, your food's okay. Maybe you get to go to like a nicer base and have like a British base where they have like lad mags in the PX. So you get to like choke your chicken whenever you want. So like there's that kind of benefit. Okay, so it's it's that or you live as a Buddhist monk. Buddhist monk. That's it? Yeah. Why? You even <laughs> Sounds more relaxing, more peaceful. Interesting. Well, definitely. But you know what you're doing all day? You're waking up at four in the morning mm -hmm. and you're just meditating. That sounds awesome. Seriously? Yeah. You're making mandalas. You're eating a bowl of rice a day. Ooh, that sounds great. Oh, stop it. I've, I, like, I could easily be a Buddhist monk. I love meditation and rat, I like sleeping. You know, I, you're not going to sleep a lot as a monk. <laughs> I like their food. They don't sleep a lot. You're waking up at the crack of dawn. You're meditating. You're helping the poor. Maybe sweeping up the whatever. You're hanging out in an temple. awesome garden and stuff like that. It's <laughs> great. I don't know. Well, you really? obviously would. I think that sounds amazing. You'd be on base. Yeah, you would put. We'll no, put I'm asking on a base. you. I'm asking you. You you would take between the, Afghanistan or the the monastery, the monk thing. They're two different forms of torture is what i'm saying yeah, one is but your I mean, own internal battles do you sit around right. meditating and with your own thoughts all one day. is a literal war zone and the other one is a little fun you get in war you get shot at no what no. no i'm just kidding you just see action in one one is an external threat and the other is an internal threat that's a good way of putting it actually i think buddhists are adorable so i, I would choose that adorable <laughs> okay 
when you see them at the airport, like they're the only religion that I'm like, oh, what are, what are you be talking about over there? Have you ever tried meditating? Yeah, I meditate all the time. Really? Yeah. It's I don't fun. see you doing this. All right, what would you take, Tom Salam? I mean, in, in this scenario, it's like, I, I think it's without question. Okay. The, the monk life You're not going to be able to bang. Listen, guys, Who I don't think you're banging? understanding this. Yeah. Like, it's a it's a cloistered life. You're not going to have women. There's no choking your chicken. You can't eat anyone's butt or anything? There's no eating butt. There's no video games when you're a Buddhist monk. I can still masturbate when no, one, no one's watching. You're in a fucking room with other monks, dude. They don't do that stuff. Go to That's the bathroom. True. You know, do it in the bathroom. He's going to find a way to jerk off, babe. Yeah. <laughs> They all jerk off. <laughs> but it's an entire life of service to other people. And there's no girlfriends. There's no silliness. There's no. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? It's a serious life, Brian. Yeah. I'd rather do. He's ready. Uh, Look, I, he's already, he's already lived this life, man. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. I've already, seriously, I've already. I mean, I've ate shit. I don't want to do any more of that. Like, I'm, I'm a totally different person than I was like five years ago or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I believe you. I believe you. And Tom, what did you say? I'm I'm mucking monk. it up. I'm a yeah, monk, monk I don't know. I might do a tour in Afghanistan. Fuck. But then it's over, and then you get your life. What? Okay. See some I don't action. Really understand that. Kill one. some hajis. It's all good. I don't get that at all. Gosh. <laughs> what? Okay. The enemy, Tom. All right. Um. Okay. Here you go. Would you rather never have an orgasm again? Ooh. But you get to eat whatever you want. Uh huh. And what happens? Or you get to have orgasms, but you only eat a vegan, gluten free, organic diet, sugar free, dairy free, no alcohol, no cigarettes. I'm talking carob chips, maybe some kale chips for snacks. Like it's a pretty grim eating and li- lifestyle existence, and you have to exercise. This one's really particular to when you're processing the question because, right? Basically, your does your sexual needs decline as you age? So there's, there's an age where you're gonna be like the diet, right? Yeah, but like, Brian is really mulling this over because I know I his think his needs are still well, no, you, sexual. You, you said you said too much. Wait, I w- I wouldn't want to have that diet, you know? Right, and but I then wouldn't want to not ever have again. cigarettes or alcohol. Like I would not want to do all that shit. And mm-hmm. so I'd probably do whatever. I don't want to do that one. Whatever that is. Okay, so you're saying that you would rather choose never to have an orgasm ever again. And eat what you want. Yeah. Yeah. That See, that's what I'm saying. Wow. But that's because you're of this age. If I ask you when you're 23. Oh, no, no, I still come like four times a day. So, but like. <laughs> okay. I'm saying in this ridiculous hypothetical. Yeah, but it's, it's not necessary. Yeah. You come four times a day? Yeah, but usually. Really? It depends on my girlfriend's working. Right now. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have a huge sex drive still, definitely. That's what I'm saying. I know he's all driven so, by. So wait, so if your sex drive is that is that high right now, then how could you possibly give up? Because it's like the the masturbating thing is more like you compulsively masturbate still. Yeah, like I'll just be like, hey, I'm bored. Oh, I can masturbate. Yeah, yeah. and that's happening multiple times. Multiple a day? times a day. I mean, myfreecams.com is pretty sweet. You're what? Yeah. That cam website I always go to is pretty sweet. <laughs> you need therapy. Yeah. <laughs> you need so much help. So much therapy. <laughs> it's so much help, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd love to sit in on one of your sessions. Oh, my what? God. I'd love to sit in on a session with you. Oh, yeah? Listen to your, hey, to your conversation. Maybe you could come on Dr. Drew's new show. Oh, I'd love to. Yeah, That'd be you fun. need a to. a lot of questions for him. Would you, oh, would you be open and honest about... Heck yeah. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. I, I'd like that. I would love that. Let's arrange that. Blue okay. Man. I've always wanted to meet him. I love that guy. Oh, Let's do that. All right. Yeah, he, he should talk to him. Yeah. Dun, 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 so you dun, choose, dun. sorry, you would choose the... I would choose not coming, eating whatever I want. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, I think that's way... I mean, you live once. You can't just have a fucking vegan crap diet the rest <laughs> of your life. No gluten. And be super healthy. Yeah. <laughs> no, but there's a point where it's like, okay, that's too yeah, much. I could see myself accepting that one in like a few years. Like the I vegan would, diet? Yeah, I would like be like, nah, not right. But like, if, you, if you're like, do you think in 10 years? Yeah. I'd be like, it's oh, different. dude, I'll take the yeah. clean diet. Yeah. yeah. Maybe in 10 years. In yeah. 10 years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I had beet chips the other day. Yeah. So good. Really? Have you ever had beet chips? No. Get them. Get them now. Okay. You have I another one? Fresh beets, you know. Yeah, those are good too. <laughs> Kidding. Is there another one? Um, I have a filler up sealer shut. Really? Yeah, we haven't done it in so long. I don't think we have that anymore. It's been a while. The, the new filler up? 
No, yeah, that's the original. <laughs> I can't play it anymore. They flag oh, it. They flag it. They flag oh, okay. it. Yeah. That's a, you just gotta uh, play it a little faster. Yeah, right. Like on, that's how oh. I get away with shit on uh, Kill Tony now. Really? I play it just like twenty five percent faster, and no one know, has even ever said anything about it. Uh, like, hey, what's that song you just played? You know. That, All right. It's good okay. to know. <laughs> well, I'm doing a filler up. Seal her shut. Cool guys edition. Which means we're only doing males because <laughs> there's no female cool guys yet. Okay. Uh, so we'll, we'll explain it in a minute. So filler up, sealer shut, which one would you rather, um, I guess, have filled? This person would fill you up and seal you shut. Um, yeah, usually. Would you rather get it done by Terry, Uncle oh, Terry? Okay. Or um, the four stroke guy? That's who we're going to debate here? Yeah. Okay, I will consider, I don't know if you can even pull those up, but I will consider, I would have to go definitely with Terry. Terry's okay. fun. Um, Terry's fun. He is, um, he's upbeat. He is, uh, Yeah. he's like, uh, I think he's always like, he, if you have a party, and you lived in a complex, you'd invite Terry to come over. Yeah, he's very fun loving. Here's yeah, Terry. This is Terry Brian. right here. So, like, Looks like a nice And I'm here to do a little video. I wanted to use this butt vibrating toy that I bought, this new one. And I thought I'd try that in. And then I also wanted to try this double ended um, fuck sleeve that has these like massive bullets in them. I haven't used it, of course. And then I went to look and they didn't send any batteries. So bad, 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 bad. Um, I'm not going to be able to use the vibrating part. But, and then I got this cool, I, a friend of mine had one and he fucks it with his boyfriend and it's a double ended dude. So I really want to try this. Um, but first I'm going to try and get this in my butt and then um, turn it on and it's even got this cool little um, remote control and let's just see what happens, okay? It's got a nice texture to it. No. I think it'll be easy to go in. <laughs> A foot. It's always the foot in his face, too. And it's got a nice built-in back ring, which I thought was kind of cool. That is cool. Oh. But it does have kind of a good size head on it. Oh, it's so totally it may take me a minute. It'll take me a minute. We gotta to ease it. it in. I haven't had anything in my butt since my last uh, butt toy video. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. You get the gist? Yeah. So wait, what? <laughs> so would you rather have that guy do you, right, or the guy who smokes meth with his brother? You don't need lube. You don't need spit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that guy seems pretty clean. Which and he one? Can come in four strokes. This guy? He jacked off in four strokes. This is him. Oh, right? I don't want the, no the other. So the this guy. guy is also an option for you. <laughs> if you've had any kind of erectile disorder problems <laughs> like, i'm here to tell you forget Terry? about viagra forget about salads forget about dick and plants and all that stuff so i don't know if you believe me or not but if you like to see me smoke some meth with a small limp dick no, it doesn't get hard any other way and watch it get harder and harder the more i smoke the harder my dick gets it's unbelievable your dickhead becomes so sensitive that you don't need lube, you don't need spit. You just stroke that dickhead this up and down four times. Just, just barely do it. And you'll shoot an enormous amount of very thick, thick, hot, white cum. Okay, so <laughs> now here's what you got to weigh. Yeah, I see. Like the other guy <laughs> is very open, bright, you know, he's got like a well lit Clean. up place. Terry. He's cleaner. He's yeah. naked and he's just like, hey, I like toys in my ass. He's kind of, you know, puts it out there. This guy is a little more about that kind of that dungeon life, yeah, a little yeah. more hidden. Yeah. Dungeon I don't like, I don't like that guy. And this there's guy meth. has like a dirty dick. I this guy's, that. there's meth involved. Yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah. And, yeah. you know. You're going to go for Terry, Uncle Terry? Sure. They're yes. both going to come pretty fast. You said so Terry you know. also. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Oh, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah! Oh! Yeah. They're so. both gay guys. So <laughs> yeah. That's kind of neat. Yeah. If you have to choose one, then you, you choose the first guy, obviously. I mean, um, I don't yeah. know. I might choose the math guy. No, just, you wouldn't. What? I would just because it's more interesting and interesting. Well, I mean, he's on <laughs> drugs, so it'll be funny. Yeah, it'll it's be probably weird. Got AIDS and stuff. Oh, well, uh, we'll use protection. It's fine. Yeah. Now you're. 
Nah. You wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Nah, fuck. You wrong. He jacked off in four strokes. Ugh. Yeah. There you go. Just for you, Brian. Thanks, guys. I, uh, <laughs> You're welcome. We would love to see you do that. No. What the? <laughs> f- You're going to get a bunch I of money. Sw- <laughs> I swear to God, you, are, you got some kind of alternative motive right now. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because you... you you're all doing all this gay stuff on me. Oh, no, no it man. just happened to go that way, I yeah. swear. I didn't. Yeah. yeah. It's not intentional. Totally, man. Have you ever seen uh, a guy finger his penis hole? Okay. Uh, uh, rough, rough, rough. You ever see a guy fuck a girl's clit? Like okay. clit hole, pee hole? Oh, my God. All That's right. an actual thing. Um, <laughs> this is uh, really neat. Um, <laughs> Now, it's so fun to hang out with you, man. It's been too yeah. long. Thank you, guys. Wait, where can is there anything Jesus. on sale that's not sold out? Because I know you have all these shows coming up. Anything we can uh, mention? Y- yeah, if you just go to DeathSquad.tv, click on tour dates. We have a bunch of shows that are being added all the time. Great. Uh, we just uh, sold out Philly, but they're adding a new uh, second show. That where are you doing there? Kill, two Kill Tonys in a row. and then uh, Great. Yeah, we have, we're going all over. Where are you guys place. doing it? Uh, helium? Yeah, that's Helium. Helium. Philly's one of the best, man. Yeah, yeah I love, I love that. That's a great club. It's Both great Williams are, they're all good. But yeah, yeah, doing a lot of that, doing a lot of uh, other shows. But yeah, awesome. Amaze. Um, Red Band, uh, our original producer, creator. The um, I'm sorry for grossing you guys out. I feel like I really disappointed you. Guys. Not at all. What are you <laughs> like talking about? We're really upset. You know, yeah. not a lot phases. You guys look like you both saw a ghost. No. <laughs> no no this was fun but when um, you come back i do want an, a doctor update all right I'll do that. yeah i would really like for you to get checked out i'll do that i'll do that yeah um so don't forget deskquad.tv for that christina added a midnight show in denver at comedy works downtown saturday this saturday make sure to get that um i put uh what's the newest one uh we added that show the 28th of april in boston at the chevalier and there's um, shows coming up in Long Beach, Shantinez, and Reno. All the shows for me are at TomSegura.com slash tour. And for Christine. Yes. Christina at, P. Online. All right. Dot com. Uh, today was a lot of fun. Don't forget. Oh. Here we go. The closing song. Oh, I missed you. This week is, it's called, um, I'm trying to see the name. It's called Julia, It's Me um, <laughs> by Nathan B. Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you guys next week. Morning, Julia. It's me, Joe. Just wanted to say hi. Wish you a great day. Tell you that meeting you yesterday and getting a look at you was probably one of the greatest moments of my life. You were so beautiful. You don't know how beautiful you are to me. You are to me. Just you're gorgeous. You're fresh. You're fresh. You're fresh. Let's go full throttle. throttle. I built everything. I built everything. I will love you like you've never been loved before. Open up your heart to me in your arms. I built everything. Let's go full throttle.
everything's fine. Right. Ask them, will you do everything your mom? Please, will you date your son? I said, honestly, yes, I would.